The Book of Enoch Chapter 1 The words of the blessing of Enoch, with which he blessed the elect and righteous, who will be living in the day of tribulation, when all the wicked and godless are to be removed. And he began his story saying, Enoch a righteous man, whose eyes were opened by God, saw the vision of the Holy One in heaven, which the angels showed me. And I heard everything from them, and I saw and understood. But it was not for this generation, but for a remote one which is to come. Concerning the elect I said, as I began my story concerning them, the Holy Great One will come out from his dwelling. And the Eternal God will tread on the earth, even on Mount Sinai, and appear in the strength of his might from heaven. And all shall be very afraid, and the watchers shall shake. And great fear and trembling shall seize them to the ends of the earth. And the high mountains shall be shaken, and the high hills shall be laid low, and shall melt like wax in the flame. And the earth shall be wholly torn apart, and all that is on the earth shall be destroyed, and there shall be a judgment on all. But with the righteous he will make peace and will protect the elect and mercy shall be on them. And they shall all belong to God, and they shall prosper, and they shall be blessed. And the light of God shall shine on them. And behold, he comes with ten thousand of his holy ones, saints, to execute judgment on all, and to destroy all the ungodly, wicked, and to convict all flesh of all the works of their ungodliness which they have ungodly committed, and of all the hard things which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Jud 114 And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. 15 To execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Chapter 2 Observe everything that takes place in the sky. How the lights do not change their orbits, and the luminaries which are in heaven. How they all rise and set in order each in its season and proper time and do not transgress against their appointed order. Consider the earth, and give understanding to the things which take place on it from start to finish. How steadfast they are, how none of the things on the earth change. But all the works of God appear to you. Behold the summer and the winter. How the whole earth is filled with water, and clouds and dew and rain lie on it. Chapter 3 Observe and see how, in the winter, all the trees seem as though they had withered and shed all their leaves, except fourteen trees, which do not lose their foliage but retain the old foliage from two to three years until the new comes. Chapter 4 And again, observe the days of summer how the sun is above the earth and you seek shade and shelter because of the heat of the sun. And the earth also burns with growing heat. And so you cannot walk on the earth or on a rock because of its heat. Chapter 5 Observe how the trees are covered with green leaves and how they bear fruit. Understand, know, and recognize that he that lives forever made them this way for you and all his works go on before him from year to year forever, and all the work and the tasks which they accomplish for him do not change, and so is it done. Consider how the sea and the rivers in like manner accomplish their course do not change because of his commandments. But you, you have neither held to nor have you done the commandments of the Lord. But you have turned away and spoken proud and hard words with your unclean mouths against his greatness. Oh, you hard-hearted, you shall find no peace. Therefore shall you curse your days, and the years of your life shall perish. And the years of your destruction shall be multiplied, and in an eternal curse you shall find no mercy. 
In those days you shall make your names an eternal curse to all the righteous, and by you shall all who curse, curse, and all the sinners and godless shall curse you forever. And for you the godless there shall be a curse. And all the elect shall rejoice, and there shall be forgiveness of sins, and mercy and peace and forbearance and joy. There shall be salvation for them, and a good light. And for all of you sinners there shall be no salvation, but on you all shall abide a curse. But for the elect there shall be light and joy and peace, and they shall inherit the earth. And then wisdom shall be given to the elect. And they shall all live and never again sin either through forgetfulness or through pride. But those who are given wisdom shall be humble. And they shall not again transgress. Nor shall they sin all the days of their life. Nor shall they die of the anger or wrath of God. But they shall complete the number of the days of their lives. And their lives shall be increased in peace, and their years will grow in joy and eternal gladness and peace all the days of their lives. Chapter 6 And it came to pass when the children of men had multiplied that in those days were born to them beautiful and fair daughters. Gen 6 colon 1 And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. And the angels, the sons of heaven, saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose us wives from among the children of men, and have children with them. And Simjaza, who was their leader, said to them, I fear you will not agree to do this deed. And I alone shall have to pay the penalty of this great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual curses so we will not abandon this plan but to do this thing. Then they all swore together and bound themselves by mutual curses. And they were in all two hundred who descended in the days of Jared in the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon. Because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual curses on the act. Jud 1 colon 5 I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this. How that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not and the angels who kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. And these are the names of their leaders, Samlazes, their leader, Arakuba, Ramiel, Kokoblel, Tamil, Ramlel, Danil, Ezekiel, Barakijal. These are their chiefs of tens, Asael, Armoros, Beteril, Ananel, Zekiel, Samsapil, Saturil, Turil, Jonjal, Sariel. Chapter 7 And all of them together went and took wives for themselves, each choosing one for himself, and they began to go into them and to defile themselves with sex with them. Gen 532 And Noah was five hundred years old, and Noah begot Shem, Ham, and Japheth. 6 colon 1 And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. 
and God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the angels taught them charms and spells, and the cutting of roots, and made them acquainted with plants. And the women became pregnant, and they bare large giants, whose height was three thousand cubits. The giants consumed all the work and toil of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds, and beasts, and reptiles, and fish, and to devour one another's flesh, and drank the blood. Then the earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. Chapter 8 And Azazel taught men to make swords, and knives, and shields, and breastplates, and taught them about metals of the earth and the art of working them, and bracelets, and ornaments, and the use of antimony, and the beautifying of the eyelids, and all kinds of precious stones, and all coloring in dyes. And there was great impiety, they turned away from God, and committed fornication, and they were led astray, and became corrupt in all their ways. Some Jaza taught the casting of spells, and root cuttings. Armoros taught counter spells or release from spells. Barakijal taught astrology. Kokabel taught the constellations or portents. Ezekiel the knowledge of the clouds. Erekiel the signs of the earth. Shamziel the signs of the sun. And Sariel the course of the moon. And as men perished, they cried, and their cry went up to heaven. Chapter 9 And then Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel looked down from heaven and saw much blood being shed on the earth and all lawlessness being done on the earth. And they said to each other, Let the cries from the destruction of earth ascend up to the gates of heaven. And now to you, the holy ones of heaven, the souls of men make their petition, saying Bring our cause before the Most High. And they said to the Lord of the ages, Lord of lords, God of gods, King of kings, and God of the ages. The throne of your glory endures through all the generations of the ages. And your name holy and glorious and blessed to all the ages. 1 TI 6.15 Which in his times he shall shew, who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings, and Lord of lords. 16 Who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto. Whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. You have made all things, and you have power over all things. And all things are revealed and open in your sight, and you see all things. And nothing can hide itself from you. Look at what Azazel has done who hath taught all unrighteousness on earth and revealed the eternal secrets which were made and kept in heaven, which men were striving to learn. And Samjaza, who taught spells, to whom you gave authority to rule over his associates. And they have gone to the daughters of men on the earth, and have had sex with the women, and have defiled themselves, and revealed to them all kinds of sins. Gen 6 colon 4 There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. And the women have borne giants. And the whole earth has thereby been filled with blood and unrighteousness. Gen 6 colon 5 And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, 
and it grieved him at his heart. And now, behold, the souls of those who have died are crying out and making their petition to the gates of heaven. And their lament has ascended and cannot cease because of the lawless deeds which are done on the earth. And you know all things before they come to pass. And you see these things and you have permitted them. And say nothing to us about these things. What are we to do with them about these things? Chapter 10 Then said the Most High, the Great and Holy One, Uriel, Go to the son of Lamech. Say to him, Go to Noah and tell him in my name hide yourself. And reveal to him the end that is approaching. That the whole earth will be destroyed. And a flood is about to come on the whole earth. And will destroy everything on it. Gen 7 colon 4 for yet 7 days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. And every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And now instruct him as to what he must do to escape that his offspring may be preserved for all the generations of the world. Gen 6 13 And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And, behold, I will destroy them with the earth. 14 Make thee an ark of gopher wood. Rooms shalt thou make in the ark. And shalt pitch it within and without with pitch. And again the Lord said to Raphael, Bind his Azel hand and foot, and cast him into the darkness, and split open the desert which is in Dudiel, and cast him in, and fill the hole by covering him rough and jagged rocks, and cover him with darkness, and let him live there forever, and cover his face that he may not see the light, and on the day of the great judgment he shall be hurled into the fire, and heal the earth which the angels have ruined, and proclaim the healing of the earth. For I will restore the earth and heal the plague. That not all of the children of men may perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. Ram 18 For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. 19 For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. 20 For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. 21 Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. The whole earth has been corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel. To him ascribe all sin. To Gabriel said the Lord, Proceed against the bastards and the reprobates, and against the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers. Cause them to go against one another that they may destroy each other in battle, shorten their days. Gen 6 colon 7 And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air. For it repenteth me that I have made them. Eat but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. No request that, the watchers, their fathers make of you shall be granted them on their behalf. For they hope to live an eternal life. And that each one of them will live five hundred years. And the Lord said to Michael, Go. Bind some Jaza and his team who have associated with women and have defiled themselves in all their uncleanness. When their sons have slain one another, and they have seen the destruction of their beloved ones. Bind them fast for seventy generations under the hills of the earth. Until the day of the consummation of their judgment and until the eternal judgment is accomplished.
In those days they shall be led off to the abyss of fire and to the torment and the prison in which they shall be confined forever. Then some Jossa shall be burnt up with the condemned and they will be destroyed. Having been bound together with them to the end of all generations. Destroy all the spirits of lust and the children of the watchers. Because they have wronged mankind. Destroy all wrong from the face of the earth and let every evil work come to an end and let the plant of righteousness and truth appear. And it shall prove a blessing, the works of righteousness and truth shall be planted in truth and joy forevermore. Gen 6 colon 7 And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. Both man, and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air. For it repenteth me that I have made them. And then shall all the righteous survive. And shall live until they beget thousands of children, and all the days of their youth and their old age shall they complete in peace. Gen 8.22 While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Gen 9 colon 1 And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. And then shall the whole earth be entilled in righteousness, and shall be planted with trees, and be full of blessing. And all desirable trees shall be planted on it, and they shall plant vines on it. And the vine which they plant shall yield fruit in abundance. And as for all the seed which is sown, each measurement shall bear a thousand. And each measurement of olives shall yield ten presses of oil. You shall cleanse the earth from all oppression, and from all unrighteousness, and from all sin, and from all godlessness. And all the uncleanness that is brought on the earth you shall destroy from off the earth. All the children of men shall become righteous. And all nations shall offer adoration and shall praise me. And all shall worship me. And the earth shall be cleansed from all defilement. And from all sin. And from all punishment. And from all torment. And I will never again send another flood from this generation to all generations and forever. Chapter 11 And in those days I will open the storehouse of blessings in heaven, and rain down blessings on the earth and over the work and labor of the children of men. Truth and peace shall be united throughout all the days of the world and throughout all the generations of men. Chapter 12 Then Enoch disappeared and no one of the children of men knew where he was hidden and where he abode. Gen 5.21 And Enoch lived sixty and five years, and begot Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begot Methuselah three hundred years, and begot sons and daughters. And all the days of Enoch were three hundred sixty and five years. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. And what had become of him? and his activities were with the holy ones and the watchers. And I, Enoch, was blessing the Lord of majesty and the king of the ages. And lo, the watchers called me Enoch the scribe, and said Tom, Enoch, you scribe of righteousness, go, tell the watchers of heaven who have left the high heaven, the holy eternal place, and have defiled themselves with women and have done as the children of earth do, and have taken to themselves wives. You have done great destruction on the earth, and you shall have no peace nor forgiveness of sin, since they delight themselves in their children. They shall see the murder of their beloved ones, and the destruction of their children shall, and they shall lament, and shall make supplication forever, you will receive neither mercy or peace. Chapter 13 And Enoch went and said, Azazel, 
you shall have no peace, a severe sentence has been passed against you that you should be bound. And you shall not have rest or mercy, because of the unrighteousness which you have taught. And because of all the works of godlessness, and unrighteousness and sin which you have shown to men. Then I went and spoke to them all together, and they were all afraid, and fear and trembling seized them. And they asked me to write a petition for them that they might find forgiveness, and to read their petition in the presence of the Lord of heaven. They had been forbidden to speak nor were they to lift up their eyes to heaven for shame of their sins because they had been condemned. Then I wrote out their petition, and the prayer in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually and in regard to their requests that they should obtain forgiveness and forbearance. And I went off and sat down at the waters of Dan, in the land of Dan, to the southwest of Hermon, I read their petition until I fell asleep. And I had a dream, and I saw a vision of their chastisement. And a voice came to me that I would reprimand them. And when I awoke, I came to them, and they were all sitting gathered together, weeping in Abel's jail, which is between Lebanon and Sinesar, with their faces covered. And I recounted to them all the visions which I had seen when I was asleep. And I began to speak the words of righteousness. And to reprimand heavenly watchers. Chapter 14 This is the book of the words of righteousness. And of the reprimand of the eternal watchers in accordance with the command of the Holy Great One in that vision I saw in my sleep. What I will now say with the tongue of flesh and with the breath of my mouth, which the Great One has given to men to speak with it and to understand with the heart, as he has created and given to man the power of understanding the word of wisdom, so has he created me also and given me the power of reprimanding the watchers, the children of heaven. I wrote out your petition. And in my vision it appeared that your petition will not be granted to you throughout all the days of eternity. And that judgment has been finally passed on you. Your petition will not be granted. From here on you shall not ascend into heaven again for all eternity. And you will be bound on earth for all eternity. Before this you will see the destruction of your beloved sons and you shall have no pleasure in them but they shall fall before you by the sword. Your petition shall not be granted on their behalf or on yours. Even though you weep and pray and speak all the words contained in my writings, in the vision I saw clouds that invited me and summoned me into a mist, and the course of the stars and the flashes of lightning and hurried me and drove me, and the winds in the vision caused me to fly and lifted me up and bore me into heaven. And I went in until I drew near to a wall which was built out of crystals and surrounded by tongues of fire. And it began to frighten me. I went into the tongues of fire and drew near a large house which was built of crystals. And the walls of the house were like a mosaic of hailstones and the floor was made of crystals like snow. Its ceiling was like the path of the stars and lightning flashes. And between them were fiery cherubim. Their sky was clear as water. A flaming fire surrounded the walls, and its doors blazed with fire. I entered that house. And it was hot as fire and cold as ice. There were no pleasures or life therein. Fear covered me and trembling got hold of me. As I shook and trembled, I fell on my face. And I saw a vision, and lo! There was a second house, greater than the first. And the all the doors stood open before me. And it was built of flames of fire. And in every respect it was splendid and magnificent to the extent that I cannot describe it to you. Its floor was of fire, and above it was lightning and the path of the stars. 
and its ceiling also was flaming fire. And I looked and saw a throne set on high. Its appearance was like crystal, and its wheels were like a shining sun. And there was the vision of cherubim, Alti 616 who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen, nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. And from underneath the throne came rivers of fire so that I could not look at it. And he who is great in glory sat on the throne and his raiment shone more brightly than the sun and was whiter than any snow. Matt 25 31 When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. None of the angels could enter or could behold his face because of the magnificence and glory and no flesh could behold him. The sea of fire surrounded him and a great fire stood in front of him, and no one could draw close to him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, but he needed no holy counsel. The most holy ones who were near to him did not leave night or day, and until then I had been prostrate on my face, trembling. And the Lord called me with his own mouth, and said to me, Come here, Enoch, and hear my word. And one of the holy ones came to me, picked me up, and brought me to the door. And I bowed down my face. Chapter 15 And he answered and said to me, and I heard his voice. Do not be afraid, Enoch, you righteous man and scribe of righteousness. Approach and hear my voice. Go and say to the watchers of heaven, For whom you have come to intercede. You should intercede for men, and not men for you. Why and for what cause have you left the high, holy, and eternal heaven, and had sex with women? And defiled yourselves with the daughters of men, and taken to yourselves wives? And done like the children of earth, and begotten giants, as your sons? Though you were holy, spiritual, living the eternal life, you have defiled yourselves with the blood of women, and have begotten children with the blood of flesh. And, as the children of men, you have lusted after flesh and blood like those who die and are killed. This is why I have given men wives, that they might impregnate them and have children by them. That deeds might continue on the earth. But you were formerly spiritual, living the eternal life, and immortal for all generations of the world. Therefore I have not appointed wives for you. You are spiritual beings of heaven, and in heaven was your dwelling place. L.U.K. 2034 And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry, and are given in marriage. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world, and the resurrection from the dead, neither marry, nor are given in marriage. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal unto the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. And now, the giants, who are produced from the spirits and flesh, shall be called evil spirits on the earth, and shall live on the earth. Evil spirits have come out from their bodies because they are born from men and from the holy watchers. Their beginning is of primal origin. They shall be evil spirits on earth. And evil spirits shall they be called spirits of the evil ones. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling. But as for the spirits of the earth which were born on the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, war, destroy, and cause trouble on the earth. 
They take no food, but do not hunger or thirst. They cause offenses, but are not observed. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women. Because they have proceeded from them in the days of the slaughter and destruction. Chapter 16 And at the death of the giants, spirits will go out and shall destroy without incurring judgment. Coming from their bodies their flesh shall be destroyed until the day of the consummation. The great judgment in which the age shall be consummated. Over the watchers and the godless, and shall be wholly consummated. Matt 8.28 And when he was come to the other side into the country of the Dragesians, there met him two possessed with devils, coming out of the tombs, exceeding fierce, so that no man might pass by that way. And, behold, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? And now as to the watchers who have sent you to intercede for them, who had been in heaven before, say to them you were in heaven, but all the mysteries of heaven had not been revealed to you, and you knew worthless ones, and these in the hardness of your hearts you have made known to the women. And through these mysteries women and men work much evil on earth. Say to them therefore, you have no peace. Chapter 17 And they took me to a place in which those who were there were like flaming fire. And, when they wished, they made themselves appear as men. They brought me to the place of darkness, and to a mountain the point of whose summit reached to heaven. And I saw the lighted places and the treasuries of the stars and of the thunder and in the uttermost depths, a fiery bow and arrows and their quiver, and a fiery sword and all the lightning. And they took me to the waters of life, and to the fire of the west, which receives every setting of the sun. And I came to a river of fire in which the fire flows like water into the great sea towards the west. I saw the great rivers and came to the great darkness. And went to the place where no flesh walks. I saw the mountains of the darkness of winter and the place from where all the waters of the deep flow. I saw the mouths of all the rivers of the earth and the mouth of the deep. Chapter 18 I saw the storehouse of all the winds. I saw how he had adorned the whole creation with them and the firm foundations of the earth. And I saw the cornerstone of the earth. I saw the four winds which support the earth and the firmament of the heaven. I saw how the winds stretch out the height of heaven and have their station between heaven and earth. These are the pillars of heaven. I saw the winds of heaven which turn and bring the sky and the sun and all the stars to their setting place. I saw the winds on the earth carrying the clouds. I saw the paths of the angels. I saw at the end of the earth the firmament of heaven above. And I continued south and saw a place which bums day and night, where there are seven mountains of magnificent stones three towards the east, and three towards the south. And as for those towards the east, they were of colored stone, and one of pearl, and one of jacinth, a stone of healing, and those towards the south of red stone. But the middle one reached to heaven like the throne of God, and was made of alabaster, and the summit of the throne was of sapphire. And I saw a great abyss of the earth, with pillars of heavenly fire. And I saw among them fiery pillars of heaven, which were falling. And as regards both height and depth, they were immeasurable. And beyond that abyss I saw a place which had no firmament of heaven above, and no firmly founded earth beneath it. There was no water on it, and no birds. 
but it was a desert and a horrible place. I saw their seven stars like great burning mountains. And an angel questioned me regarding them. The angel said, This place is the end of heaven and earth. This has become a prison for the stars and the host of heaven. And the stars which roll over the fire are they which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord in the beginning of their rising. Because they did not come out at their proper times. And he was angry with them, and bound them until the time when their guilt should be consummated even for ten thousand years. Chapter 19 And Uriel said to me, The angels who have had sex with women shall stand here. And their spirits, having assumed many different forms, are defiling mankind and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand, until the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged and are made an end of. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become peaceful. And I, Enoch, alone saw the vision, the ends of all things, and no man shall see as I have seen. I'll pee for colon seven, but the end of all things is at hand, be ye therefore sober. And watch unto prayer. Chapter 20 These are the names of the holy angels who watch. Uriel, one of the holy angels, who is over the world, turmoil and terror. Raphael, one of the holy angels, who is over the spirits of men. Ragel, one of the holy angels who takes vengeance on the world of the luminaries. Michael, one of the holy angels, set over the virtues of mankind and over chaos. Serakiel, one of the holy angels, who is set over the spirits, who sin in the spirit. Gabriel, one of the holy angels, who is over paradise and the serpents and the cherubim. Ramiel, one of the holy angels, whom God set over those who rise. Chapter 21 Then, I proceeded to where things were chaotic and void. And I saw there something horrible, I saw neither a heaven above nor a firmly founded earth, but a place chaotic and horrible. And there I saw seven stars of heaven bound together in it, like great mountains and burning with fire. Then I said, For what sin are they bound, and on why have they been cast in here? Then said Uriel, one of the holy angels, who was with me, and was chief over them. Enoch, why do you ask, and why aren't you eager for the truth? These are some of the stars of heaven, which have transgressed the commandment of the Lord, and are bound here until ten thousand years, the time entailed by their sins are consummated. And I went out from there to another place which was still more horrible than the former. And I saw a terrible thing, a great fire there which burnt and blazed. And the place was deft as far as the abyss, full of great falling columns of fire. Neither its width or breadth could I see, nor could I see its source. Then I said, I am afraid of this place and cannot stand to look at it. Then Ariel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered and said to me, Enoch, why are you so afraid? And I answered, because of this fearful place, and because of the spectacle of the pain. And he said to me, this place is the prison of the angels, and here they will be imprisoned forever. Chapter 22 and I went out to another place west where there was a mountain and hard rock. And there was in it four hollow places, deep and wide and very smooth. How smooth are the hollow places and look deep and dark. Then Raphael answered, one of the holy angels who was with me, and said to me, These hollow places have been created for this very purpose that the spirits of the souls of the dead should be gathered here, that all the souls of the children of men should brought together here, 
And these places have been made to receive them until the day of their judgment and until the period appointed. Until the great judgment comes on them. I saw the spirit of a dead man, and his voice went out to heaven and made petitions. And I asked Raphael the angel who was with me, and I said to him, This spirit which petitions. Whose is it, whose voice goes up and petitions heaven? And he answered me saying, This is the spirit which went out from Abel, whom his brother Cain slew. And he makes his suit against him until his offspring is destroyed from the face of the earth. And his offspring are annihilated from among the children of men. Gen 4 colon 8 And Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass, when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not, am I my brother's keeper? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood creeth unto me from the ground. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou tilliest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. Then I asked, regarding all the hollow places, why is one separated from the other? And he answered me and said to me, These three have been made that the spirits of the dead might be separated. Divisions have been made for the spirits of the righteous, in which there is the bright spring of water, and one for sinners when they die and are buried in the earth and judgment has not been executed on them in their lifetime. Here their spirits shall be set apart in this great pain until the great day of judgment and punishment, and torment of those who curse forever and retribution for their spirits. There he shall bind them forever. And such a division has been made for the spirits of those who make their petitions, who make disclosures concerning their destruction, when they were slain in the days of the sinners. Such has been made for the spirits of men who were not righteous but sinners, who were complete in transgression, and of the transgressors they shall be companions. But their spirits shall not be destroyed in the day of judgment nor shall they be raised from here. Then I blessed the Lord of glory and said, Blessed be my Lord, the Lord of righteousness, who rules forever. Chapter 23 from here I went to another place to the west of the ends of the earth. And I saw a burning fire which ran without resting, and never stopped from its course day or night but flowed always in the same way. And I asked saying, What is this which never stops? Then Regel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered me and said to me, this course of fire which you have seen is the fire in the west and is the fire of all the lights of heaven. Chapter 24 And from here I went to another place on the earth, and he showed me a mountain range of fire which burned day and night. And I went beyond it and saw seven magnificent mountains, all differing from each other. And their stones were magnificent and beautiful and their form was glorious, three towards the east, one founded on the other, and three towards the south, one on the other, and deep rough ravines, no one of which joined with any other. And the seventh mountain was in the midst of these, and it was higher than them, resembling the seat of a throne, and fragrant trees encircled the throne and among them was a tree such as I had never smelled, nor was any among them or were others like it. It had a fragrance beyond all fragrance, and its leaves and blooms and wood would not ever wither, and its fruit is beautiful, and its fruit resembles the dates of a palm. Then I said, 
how beautiful is this tree, and fragrant, and its leaves are fair, and its blooms very delightful in appearance. Then Michael, one of the holy and honored angels who was with me, and was their leader, spoke. Chapter 25 And he said to me, Enoch, why do you ask me about the fragrance of the tree? And why do you wish to learn the truth? Then I answered him, saying, I wish to know about everything, but especially about this tree. And he answered, saying, This high mountain which you have seen, whose summit is like the throne of God, is his throne, where the Holy Great One, the Lord of Glory, the Eternal King, will sit when he shall come down to visit the earth with goodness. And as for this fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it until the great judgment, when he shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its completion forever. It shall then be given to the righteous and holy. Its fruit shall be for food to the elect. It shall be transplanted to the holy place to the temple of the Lord, the eternal King. Rev 22 colon 1 And he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curses. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it. And his servants shall serve him. Then they shall rejoice and be glad. And enter into the holy place. And its fragrance shall enter into their bones and they shall live a long life on earth, as your fathers lived. And in their days there will be no sorrow or pain or torment or toil. Then I bless the God of glory, the eternal King, who has prepared such things for the righteous, and has created them and promised to give to them. Chapter 26 And I went from there to the middle of the earth, and I saw a blessed place in which there were trees with branches alive and blooming on a tree that had been cut down. And there I saw a holy mountain. And underneath the mountain to the east there was a stream and it flowed towards the south. And I saw towards the east another mountain higher than this. And between them a deep and narrow valley. And it ran a stream underneath the mountain and to the west of it there was another mountain, lower than the former and of small elevation, and a dry, deep valley between them. And another deep and dry valley was at the edge of the three mountains, and all the valleys were deep and narrow, being formed from hard rock, and there were no trees planted on them. And I was very amazed at the rocks in the valleys, Chapter 27 Then I said, What is the purpose of this blessed land, which is entirely filled with trees? And what is the purpose of this accursed valley between them? Then Ariel, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered and said, This accursed valley is for those who are cursed forever. Here shall all the accursed be gathered together who utter with their lips words against the Lord not befitting his glory, or say hard things against him. Here shall they be gathered together, and here shall be their place of judgment. In the last days there shall be the spectacle of righteous judgment on them, and the presence of the righteous forever. Here shall the merciful bless the Lord of glory, the eternal King. In the days of judgment they shall bless him for the mercy and that he has shown them. Then I blessed the Lord of glory and set out his glory and praised him gloriously. Chapter 28 
Then, I went towards the east, into the midst of the mountain range in the desert, and I saw a wilderness. And it was solitary, full of trees and plants. And water gushed out from above. Rushing like a torrent which flowed towards the northwest it caused clouds and dew to fall on every side. Chapter 29 Then I went to another place in the desert and approached to the east of this mountain range. And there I saw aromatic trees exuding the fragrance of frankincense and myrrh. And the trees also were similar to the almond tree. Chapter 30 Beyond these, I went far to the east. And I saw another place, a valley full of water like one that would not run dry. And there was a tree, the color of fragrant trees was that of mastic. And on the sides of those valleys I saw fragrant cinnamon. And beyond these I proceeded to the east. Chapter 31 And I saw other mountains, and among them were groves of trees. And there was nectar that flowed from them, which is named Sarera and Galbanum. And beyond these mountains I saw another mountain to the east of the ends of the earth, on which there were aloe trees, and all the trees were full of fruit, being like almond trees. And when it was burned it smelled sweeter than any fragrant odor. Chapter 32 and after I had smelled these fragrant odors, I looked towards the north over the mountains I saw seven mountains full of fine nard and fragrant trees of cinnamon and pepper. And then I went over the summits of all these mountains, far towards the east of the earth, and passed over the Red Sea and went far from it, and passed over the angel Zodiel. And I came to the Garden of Righteousness. I saw far beyond those trees more trees and they were numerous and large. There were two trees there, very large, beautiful, glorious, and magnificent. The tree of knowledge, whose holy fruit they ate and acquired great wisdom. That tree is in height like the fir, and its leaves are like those of the carob tree. And its fruit is like the clusters of the grapes, very beautiful and the fragrance of the tree carries far. Then I said, How beautiful is the tree, and how attractive is its look. Then Raphael the holy angel, who was with me, answered me, and said, This is the tree of wisdom, of which your father of old and your mother of old, who were your progenitors, have eaten, and they learned wisdom and their eyes were opened and they knew that they were naked and they were driven out of the garden. Chapter 33 And from there I went to the ends of the earth and saw their large beasts, and each differed from the other. And I saw birds also differing in appearance and beauty and voice, the one differing from the other. And to the east of those beasts I saw the ends of the earth where heaven rests on it and the doors of heaven open. And I saw how the stars of heaven come out. And I counted the gates from which they came out, and wrote down all their outlets, of each individual star by their number and their names, their courses and their positions, and their times and their months. As Uriel the holy angel who was with me showed me, he showed me all things and wrote them down for me. Also their names he wrote for me, and their laws and their functions. Chapter 34 From there I went towards the north to the ends of the earth. And there I saw a great and glorious device at the ends of the whole earth. And here I saw three gates of heaven open. Through each of them proceed north winds, when they blow there is cold hail, frost, snow, dew, and rain. And out of one gate they blow for good, but when they blow through the other two gates, it is for violence and torment on the earth, and they blow with force. Chapter 35 
Then I went towards the west to the ends of the earth, and saw there three gates of heaven open such as I had seen in the east, the same number of gates and the same number of outlets. Chapter 36 And from there I went to the south to the ends of the earth, and saw there three open gates of heaven, and from them come dew, rain, and wind. And from there I went to the east to the ends of heaven, and saw here the three eastern gates of heaven open and small gates above them. Through each of these small gates pass the stars of heaven and they run their course to the west on the path which is shown to them. And as often as I saw I blessed always the Lord of glory. And I continue to bless the Lord of glory who has done great and glorious wonders. Who has shown the greatness of his work to the angels and to spirits and to men. That they might praise his work and all his creation. That they might see the power of his might and praise the great work of his hands and bless him forever. Chapter 37 The Second Vision Which He Saw the vision of wisdom which Enoch the son of Jared, the son of Mahalalel, the son of Kinan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, saw. And this is the beginning of the words of wisdom which I lifted up my voice to speak and say to those which dwell on earth. Hear, you men of old time, and see, you that come after. The words of the Holy One which I will speak before the Lord of Spirits. The words are for the men of old time, and to those that come after. We will not withhold the beginning of wisdom from this present day. Such wisdom has never been given by the Lord of Spirits as I have received according to my insight. According to the good pleasure of the Lord of Spirits by whom the lot of eternal life has been given to me. Now three parables were imparted to me, and I lifted up my voice and recounted them to those that dwell on the earth. Chapter 38 The first parable, when the congregation of the righteous shall appear, and sinners shall be judged for their sins, and shall be driven from the face of the earth. And when the righteous one shall appear before the eyes of the elect righteous ones, whose works are weighed by the Lord of Spirits. Light shall appear to the righteous and the elect who dwell on the earth. Where will there be the dwelling for sinners? And where will there be a resting place for those who have denied the Lord of Spirits? It had been good for them if they had not been born. J-O-H-1-1 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Two the same was in the beginning with God. Three all things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. For in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Five and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. When the secrets of the righteous shall be revealed and the sinners judged and the godless driven from the presence of the righteous and elect. From that time those that possess the earth shall no longer be powerful and mighty, and they shall not be able to look at the face of the holy ones, because the Lord of Spirits has caused his light to appear on the face of the holy, righteous, and elect. 2 CO 318 But we all, with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Then the kings and the mighty shall be destroyed and be turned over into the hands of the righteous and holy. And from then on none shall seek mercy from the Lord of Spirits for themselves for their life is at an end. Chapter 39 and it shall come to pass in those days that elect and holy children will descend from the high heaven, and their offspring will become one with the children of men. And in those days Enoch received books of indignation and wrath, and books of turmoil and confusion. There will be no mercy for them, says the Lord of Spirits. 
And in those days a whirlwind carried me off from the earth, and set me down at the end of heaven. There I saw another vision, the dwelling places of the holy, and the resting places of the righteous. Here my eyes saw the dwelling places of his righteous angels, and the resting places of the holy ones. And they petitioned and interceded and prayed for the children of men. And righteousness flowed before them like water. And mercy fell like dew on the earth. Thus it is among them for ever and ever. And in that place my eyes saw the elect one of righteousness and of faith. And I saw his dwelling place under the wings of the Lord of spirits. And righteousness shall prevail in his days. And the righteous and elect shall be innumerable and will be before him for ever and ever. And all the righteous and elect ones before him shall be as bright as fiery lights. And their mouth shall be full of blessing. And their lips shall praise the name of the Lord of spirits. Righteousness and truth before him shall never fail. There I wish to dwell, and my spirit longed for that dwelling place. And thus it was decided and my portion was assigned and established by the Lord of Spirits. In those days I praised and exalted the name of the Lord of Spirits with blessings and praises. Because he had destined me for blessing and glory according to the good pleasure of the Lord of Spirits. For a long time my eyes looked at that place, and I blessed him and praised him, saying, Blessed is he and may he be blessed from the beginning and forevermore. And in his presence there is no end. He knows before the world was created what is forever and what will be from generation to generation. Those who do not sleep bless you. They stand before your glory and bless, praise, and exalt you, saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of spirits. He fills the earth with spirits. And here my eyes saw all those who do not sleep. They stand before him and bless him saying, Blessed be you, and blessed be the name of the Lord for ever and ever. And my face was changed, for I could no longer see. Chapter 40 And after that I saw thousands of thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand. I saw a multitude beyond number and reckoning, who stood before the Lord of Spirits. And on the four sides of the Lord of Spirits I saw four figures, different from those that did not sleep, and I learned their names. For the angel that went with me told me their names, and showed me all the hidden things. And I heard the voices of those four presences as they uttered praises before the Lord of glory. The first voice blessed the Lord of spirits for ever and ever. The second voice I heard blessing the elect one and the elect ones who depend on the Lord of spirits. And the third voice I heard pray and intercede for those who live on the earth and pray earnestly in the name of the Lord of spirits. And I heard the fourth voice fending off the Satan's advisories or accusers, and forbidding them to come before the Lord of Spirits to accuse them who dwell on the earth. After that I asked the angel of peace who went with me, who showed me everything that is hidden. Who are these four figures which I have seen and whose words I have heard and written down? And he said to me, This first is Michael, the merciful and long-suffering and the second, who is set over all the diseases and all the wounds of the children of men, is Raphael. And the third, who is set over all the powers, is Gabriel. And the fourth, who is set over the repentance and those who hope to inherit eternal life, is named Phanuel. And these are the four angels of the Lord of Spirits and the four voices I heard in those days. Chapter 41 and after that I saw all the secrets of heavens, and how the kingdom is divided, and how the actions of men are weighed in the balance. And there I saw the mansions of the elect and the mansions of the holy. 
and my eyes saw all the sinners being driven from there which denied the name of the Lord of Spirits. And they were being dragged off. And they could not live because of the punishment which proceeds from the Lord of Spirits. JOH 14 colon 2 In my father's house are many mansions, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. 3 And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And there my eyes saw the secrets of the lightning and of the thunder. And the secrets of the winds. How they are divided to blow over the earth. And the secrets of the clouds and dew. And there I saw where they came from and how they saturate the dusty earth. And there I saw closed storehouses out of which the winds are divided. The storehouse of the hail and winds. The storehouse of the mist and of the clouds. And the cloud thereof hovers over the earth from the beginning of the world. And I saw the storehouses of the sun and moon. Where they go and where they come. And their glorious return, and how one is superior to the other. And their stately orbit, and how they do not leave their orbit. And they add nothing to their orbit and they take nothing from it. And they keep faith with each other. In accordance with the oath by which they are bound together. And first the sun goes out and traverses his path according to the commandment of the Lord of Spirits. And mighty is his name for ever and ever. And after that I saw the invisible and the visible path of the moon. And she accomplishes the course of her path in that place by day and by night. The one holding a position opposite to the other before the Lord of Spirits. And they give thanks and praise and rest not. But their thanksgiving is for ever and ever. For the sun makes many revolutions for a blessing or a curse. And the course of the path of the moon is light to the righteous and darkness to the sinners in the name of the Lord. Who made a separation between the light and the darkness. And divided the spirits of men and strengthened the spirits of the righteous. In the name of his righteousness. For no angel hinders and no power is able to hinder. For he appoints a judge for them all and he judges them all himself. Chapter 42 Wisdom found no place where she might dwell, then a dwelling place was assigned her in heavens. Wisdom went out to make her dwelling among the children of men, and found no dwelling place. Wisdom returned to her place, and took her seat among the angels. And unrighteousness went out from her storehouses. She found those she did not seek, and dwelt with them, she sought no one in particular but found a place. As rain in a desert and dew on a thirsty land. Chapter 43 And I saw other lightning and the stars of heaven. And I saw how he called them all by their names and they obeyed him. And I saw how they are weighed in a righteous balance according to their proportions of light. I saw the width of their spaces and the day of their appearing, and how their revolution produces lightning. And I saw their revolution according to the number of the angels, and how they keep faith with each other. And I asked the angel who went with me who showed me what was hidden. What are these? And he said to me, The Lord of Spirits has shown you their parable. These are the names of the holy who dwell on the earth and believe in the name of the Lord of Spirits for ever and ever. Chapter 44 Also another phenomenon I saw in regard to the lightning. How some of the stars arise and become lightning and cannot part with their new form. Chapter 45 And this is the second parable. Concerning those who deny the name of the dwelling of the Holy Ones and the Lord of Spirits. They shall not ascend to heaven. 
and they shall not come on the earth. Such shall be the lot of the sinners who have denied the name of the Lord of Spirits, who are preserved for the day of suffering and tribulation. On that day my elect one shall sit on the throne of glory and shall try the works of the righteous, and their places of rest shall be innumerable and their souls shall grow strong within them when they see my elect one, and those who have called on my glorious name. Then will I cause my elect one to dwell among them. I will transform heaven and make it an eternal blessing and light, and I will transform the earth and make it a blessing, and I will cause my elect ones to dwell on it. But the sinners and evildoers shall not set foot on it. For I have seen and satisfied my righteous ones with peace and have caused them to dwell before me. But for the sinners there is judgment impending with me, so that I shall destroy them from the face of the earth. Chapter 46 And there I saw one whose face looked ancient. His head was white like wool, and with him was another being whose countenance had the appearance of a man and his face was full of graciousness, like one of the holy angels. And I asked the angel who went with me and showed me all the hidden things concerning that son of man, who he was, and came from where, and why he went with the ancient one. And he answered and said to me, This is the son of man who hath righteousness, with whom dwells righteousness and who reveals all the treasures of that which is hidden, because the Lord of spirits hath chosen him, and whose lot has preeminence before the Lord of spirits in righteousness and is forever. And this Son of Man whom you have seen shall raise up the kings and the mighty from their seats, and the strong from their thrones, and shall loosen the reins of the strong, and break the teeth of the sinners and he shall put down the kings from their thrones and kingdoms because they do not exalt and praise him, nor humbly acknowledge who bestowed their kingdom on them, and he shall make the strong hang their heads, and shall fill them with shame, and darkness shall be their dwelling, and worms shall be their bed, and they shall have no hope of rising from their beds because they do not exalt the name of the Lord of Spirits. They raise their hands against the Most High and tread on the earth and dwell on it and all their deeds manifest unrighteousness. Their power rests on their riches, and their faith is in the gods which they have made with their hands. They deny the name of the Lord of Spirits, and they persecute the houses of his congregations and the faithful who depend on the name of the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 47 In those days the prayer of the righteous shall have ascended, and the blood of the righteous from the earth shall be before the Lord of Spirits. In those days the holy ones who dwell above in heavens shall unite with one voice and supplicate and pray and praise and give thanks and bless the name of the Lord of Spirits on behalf of the blood of the righteous which has been shed, that the prayer of the righteous may not be in vain before the Lord of Spirits, that they may have justice, and that they may not have to wait forever. In those days I saw the head of days when he seated himself on the throne of his glory, and the books of the living were opened before him and all his host which is in heaven above and his counselors stood before him. And the hearts of the holy were filled with joy because the number of the righteous had been offered, and the prayer of the righteous had been heard, and the blood of the righteous not been required before the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 48 And in that place I saw the spring of righteousness which was inexhaustible and around it were many springs of wisdom, and all the thirsty drank of them, and were filled with wisdom, and their dwellings were with the righteous and holy and elect. And at that hour that Son of Man was named in the presence of the Lord of Spirits, 
and his name was brought before the head of days. Even before the sun and the signs were created, before the stars of heaven were made. His name was named before the Lord of Spirits. He shall be a staff to the righteous, and they shall steady themselves and not fall. And he shall be the light of the Gentiles, and the hope of those who are troubled of heart. All who dwell on earth shall fall down and worship before him, and will praise and bless and sing and celebrate the Lord of Spirits. And for this reason he has been chosen and hidden in front of him, before the creation of the world and forevermore. And the wisdom of the Lord of Spirits has revealed him to the holy and righteous, for he hath preserved the lot of the righteous, because they have hated and rejected this world of unrighteousness, and have hated all its works and ways in the name of the Lord of Spirits. For in his name they are saved, and according to his good pleasure, and it is he who has regard to their life. In these days the kings of the earth and the strong who possess the land because of the works of their hands will be shamed. Because on the day of their anguish and affliction they shall not be able to save themselves. And I will give them over into the hands of my elect. As straw in the fire so shall they burn before the face of the holy. As lead in the water shall they sink before the face of the righteous. And no trace of them shall be found any more. And on the day of their affliction there shall be rest on the earth, because the evil ones will be destroyed. And before him they shall fall down and not rise again. And there shall be no one to take them with his hands and raise them up. For they have denied the Lord of Spirits and his anointed. The name of the Lord of Spirits be blessed. Chapter 49 For wisdom is poured out like water, and glory will not fail before him ever. For he is mighty in all the secrets of righteousness. And unrighteousness shall disappear like a shadow, and will no longer exist because the elect one stands before the Lord of Spirits. And his glory is for ever and ever, and his might for all generations. In him dwells the spirit of wisdom, and the spirit which gives insight, and the spirit of understanding and of might, and the spirit of those who have fallen asleep in righteousness. And he shall judge the secret things and no one shall be able to utter a lying or idle word before him. For he is the elect one before the Lord of Spirits according to his good pleasure. Chapter 50 And in those days a change shall take place for the holy and elect. And the light of days shall abide on them. And glory and honor shall turn to the holy. On the day of trouble, affliction will be heaped on the evil, and the righteous shall be victorious in the name of the Lord of Spirits. For he will this to others that they may repent and turn away from the works of their hands. They shall have no honor through the name of the Lord of Spirits, but through his name they shall be saved, and the Lord of Spirits will have compassion on them, for his mercy is great. He is righteous also in his judgment, and in the presence of his glory unrighteousness also shall not stand. At his judgment the unrepentant shall perish before him. And from now on I will have no mercy on them, says the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 51 And in those days shall the earth also give back that which has been entrusted to it, and Sheol, the grave also shall give back that which it has received. And hell shall give back that which it owes. For in those days the elect one shall arise. And he shall choose the righteous and holy from among them. For the day has drawn near that they should be saved. And in those days the elect one shall sit on his throne. And all the secrets of wisdom and counsel shall pour from his mouth. For the Lord of Spirits hath given them to him and has glorified him. 
In those days shall the mountains leap like rams, and the hills shall skip like lambs satisfied with milk, and the faces of all the angels in heaven shall be lighted up with joy, and the earth shall rejoice, and the righteous shall dwell on it, and the elect shall walk on it. Chapter 52 I and after those days in that place where I had seen all the visions of that which is hidden, for I had been carried off in a whirlwind and they had borne me towards the west. There my eyes saw all the secret things of heaven that shall be, a mountain of iron, and a mountain of copper, and a mountain of silver, and a mountain of gold, and a mountain of soft metal, and a mountain of lead. And I asked the angel who went with me, saying, What things are these which I have seen in secret? And he said to me, All these things which you have seen shall serve the authority of his Messiah that he may be powerful and mighty on the earth. The angel of peace answered me, saying, Wait a little while, and all secret things shall be revealed to you. Things which surround the Lord of Spirits and these mountains which your eyes have seen, the mountain of iron, and the mountain of copper, and the mountain of silver, and the mountain of gold, and the mountain of soft metal, and the mountain of lead. All of these shall be like wax before a fire in the presence of the elect one, like the water which streams down from above on those mountains, and they shall be weak under his feet and it shall come to pass in those days that none shall be saved, either by gold or by silver, and none will be able to save themselves or escape. And there shall be no iron for war, nor materials for breastplates. Bronze shall be of no use, tin shall be worthless, and lead shall not be desired. All these things shall be destroyed from the face of the earth when the elect one appears before the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 53 There my eyes saw a deep valley with its mouth open, and all who dwell on the earth and sea and islands shall bring gifts and presents and tokens of homage to him. But that deep valley shall not become full, and their hands commit lawless deeds, and everything the righteous work at the sinners devour. The sinners shall be destroyed in front of the face of the Lord of Spirits, and they shall be banished from off the face of his earth, and they shall perish for ever and ever. For I saw all the angels of punishment abiding there and preparing all the instruments of Satan. And I asked the angel of peace who went with me, For whom are they preparing these instruments? And he said to me, they prepare these for the kings and the powerful of this earth, that they may with them they be destroyed. After this the righteous and elect one shall cause the house of his congregation to appear and from then on they shall hinder no more. In the name of the Lord of Spirits. And these mountains shall not stand as solid ground before his righteousness. But the hills shall be like springs of water and the righteous shall have rest from the oppression of sinners. Chapter 54 And I looked and turned to another part of the earth, and saw there a deep valley with burning fire. And they brought the kings and the powerful, and began to cast them into this deep valley. And there my eyes saw how they made their instruments for them, iron chains of immeasurable weight. And I asked the angel of peace who was with me, saying, For whom are these chains being prepared? And he said to me, These are being prepared for the hosts of Azazel, so that they may take them and throw them into the bottom of the pit of hell. And they shall cover their jaws with rough stones as the Lord of Spirits commanded. And Michael, and Gabriel, and Raphael, and Phanuel shall take hold of them on that great day and throw them into the burning furnace on that day, that the Lord of Spirits may take vengeance on them for their unrighteousness in becoming servants to Satan and for leading astray those who live on the earth. 
and in those days punishment will come from the Lord of Spirits. And he will open all the storehouses of waters above heavens, and of the fountains which are under the surface of the earth. And all the waters shall be come together to flow with the waters of heaven. That which is above heavens is the masculine, and the water which is beneath the earth is the feminine. And they shall destroy all who live on the dry land and those who live under the ends of heaven. And when they have acknowledged the unrighteousness which they have done on the earth, by these they shall perish. Chapter 55 And after that the head of days repented and said, I have destroyed all who dwell on the earth to no avail. And he swore by his great name, From now on I will not do this to all who dwell on the earth again. And I will set a sign in heaven, and this shall be a covenant of good faith between me and them forever. So long as heaven is above the earth. And this is in accordance with my command. When I have desired to take hold of them by the hand of the angels on the day of tribulation, anger, and pain because of this. I will cause my punishment and anger to abide on them, says God, the Lord of Spirits. You mighty kings who live on the earth, you shall have to watch my elect one. Sit on the throne of glory and judge Azazel, and all his associates, and all his hosts in the name of the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 56 And I saw there the hosts of the angels of punishment going and they held scourges and chains of iron and bronze. And I asked the angel of peace who went with me, saying, To whom are these who hold the scourges going? And he said to me, Each one to the ones they have chosen and to their loved ones, that they may be cast into the chasm of the abyss in the valley. And then that valley shall be filled with ones they chose and their loved ones and the days of their lives shall be at an end, and the days of their leading astray shall no longer be remembered. In those days the angels shall return and gather together and throw themselves to the east on the Parthians and Medes. They shall stir up the kings, so that a spirit of unrest and disturbance will come on them. And they shall drive them from their thrones, that they may rush out like lions from their lairs, and as hungry wolves among their flocks. And they shall go up and trample the lands of my elect ones. And the land of his elect ones shall be before them a threshing floor. But the city of my righteous ones shall be a hindrance to their horses. And they shall begin to fight among themselves, and their own right hand shall be strong against themselves. And a man shall not know his brother, nor a son his father or his mother until there will be innumerable corpses because of their slaughter, and their punishment shall be not in vain. In those days hell shall open its jaws, and they shall be swallowed up. Their destruction shall be final. Hell shall devour the sinners in the presence of the elect. Rev 20 1 And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. 2 And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Chapter 57 And it came to pass after this that I saw another host of chariots, and men riding on them. They were coming on the winds from the east, and from the west to the south. The noise of their chariots was heard, and when this turmoil took place the holy ones from heaven watched it and the pillars of the earth were shaken and moved, and the sound of it was heard from the one end of heaven to the other, in one day. And all shall fall down and worship the Lord of Spirits. This is the end of the second parable. Chapter 58 And I began to speak the third parable concerning the righteous and elect. Blessed are you, you righteous and elect, for glorious shall be your lot and the righteous shall be in the light of the sun, and the elect will be in the light of eternal life. The days of their life shall be unending, 
and the days of the holy will be without number. And they shall seek the light and find righteousness with the Lord of spirits. Peace to the righteous in the name of the eternal Lord. And after this it shall be said to the holy in heaven that they should seek secrets of righteousness and the destiny of faith. For it has become bright as the sun on earth, and the darkness is passed away. And there shall be a light that never ends, and to a number of days they shall not come, for the darkness shall first have been destroyed. And the light established before the Lord of Spirits. And the light of righteousness established forever before the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 59 in those days my eyes saw the secrets of the lightning and of the lights. And they judge and execute their judgment. And they illuminate for a blessing or a curse as the Lord of Spirits wills. And there I saw the secrets of the thunder. And how when it resounds above in heaven, the sound thereof is heard. And he caused me to see the judgments executed on the earth whether they are for well-being and blessing, or for a curse according to the word of the Lord of Spirits. And after that all the secrets of the lights and lightning were shown to me, and they lighten for blessing and for satisfying. Chapter 60 Noah's Vision In the year 500, in the seventh month, on the fourteenth day of the month in the life of Enoch, in that parable I saw how a mighty quaking made the heaven of heavens to quake, and the host of the Most High, and the angels, a thousand thousands and ten thousand times ten thousand, were disquieted with great foreboding. And the head of days sat on the throne of his glory, and the angels and the righteous stood around him. And a great trembling seized me, and fear took hold of me. And my legs gave way, and I melted with weakness and fell on my face. And Michael sent another angel from among the holy ones, and he raised me up. And when he had raised me up my spirit returned. For I had not been able to endure the look of this host. And the disturbance and the shaking of heaven. And Michael said to me, Why are you upset with such a vision? Until this day. His mercy and long-suffering has lasted toward those who dwell on the earth. And when the day, and the power, and the punishment, and the judgment come, which the Lord of Spirits hath prepared for those who worship not the righteous law, and for those who deny the righteous judgment, and for those who take his name in vain, that day is prepared. It will be a covenant for the elect, but for sinners in inquisition when the punishment of the Lord of Spirits shall rest on them. It will not come in vain. And it shall slay the children with their mothers and the children with their fathers. And on that day two monsters were separated from one another. A female monster named Leviathan to dwell in the abyss of the ocean over the fountains of the waters. And the male is named Behemoth who occupied with his breast a wasted wilderness named Duodane, on the east of the garden where the elect and righteous dwell, where my great-grandfather was taken up, the seventh from Adam, the first man whom the Lord of Spirits created. And I asked the other angel to show me the might of those monsters, how they were separated on one day and thrown, the one into the abyss of the sea, and the other to the earth's desert. And he said to me, Son of man, you wish to know what is kept secret. And the other angel who went with me and showed me what was kept secret, told me what is first and last in heaven in the sky, and beneath the earth in the depth, and at the ends of heaven, and on the foundation of heaven, and the storehouse of the winds, and how the winds are divided, and how they are weighed, and how the doors of the winds are calculated for each according to the power of the wind, and the power of the lights of the moon according to the power that is fitting, and the divisions of the stars according to their names, 
and how all the divisions are divided, and the thunder according to the places where they fall, and all the divisions that are made among the lightning that it may light, and their host that they may at once obey. For the thunder has places of rest which are assigned while it is waiting for its peal, and the thunder and lightning are inseparable, and although not one and undivided, they both go together in spirit and are not separate. For when the lightning flashes, the thunder utters its voice, and the spirit enforces a pause during the peal and divides equally between them. For the treasury of their peals is like the sand, and each one of them as it peals is held in with a bridle, and turned back by the power of the spirit, and pushed forward according to the many parts of the earth. And the spirit of the sea is masculine and strong, and according to the might of his strength he draws it back with a rein. And in like manner it is driven forward and disperses in the midst of all the mountains of the earth. And the spirit of the hoarfrost is his own angel. And the spirit of the hail is a good angel. And the spirit of the snow has forsaken his storehouse because of his strength. There is a special spirit there, and that which ascends from it is like smoke. And its name is frost. And the spirit of the mist is not united with them in their storehouse, but it has a special storehouse, for its course is glorious both in light and in darkness, and in winter and in summer, and in its storehouse is an angel, and the spirit of the dew has its dwelling at the ends of heaven, and is connected with the storehouse of the rain, and its course is in winter and summer. And its clouds and the clouds of the mist are connected, and the one gives to the other. And when the spirit of the rain goes out from its storehouse, the angels come and open the storehouse and lead it out. And when it is diffused over the whole earth, it unites with the water on the earth. And whenever it unites with the water on the earth, they are nourishment for the earth from the Most High who is in heaven. Therefore there is a measurement for the rain, and the angels are in charge of it. And these things I saw towards the garden of the righteous. And the angel of peace who was with me, said to me, These two monsters, prepared in accordance with the greatness of the Lord, will feed them the punishment of the Lord. And children will be killed with their mothers and sons with their fathers. Chapter 61 And I saw in those days that long cords were given to those angels, and they took to themselves wings and flew, and they went towards the north. I asked the angel, saying to him, Why have those angels who have cords taken flight? And he said to me, They have gone to take measurements. And the angel who went with me said to me, These shall bring the measurements of the righteous, and the cords of the righteous to the righteous, that they may rely on the name of the Lord of spirits for ever and ever. The elect shall begin to dwell with the elect. And those are the measurements which shall be given to faith and which shall strengthen righteousness. And these measurements shall reveal all the secrets of the depths of the earth and those who have been destroyed by the desert, and those who have been devoured by the beasts, and those who have been devoured by the fish of the sea, that they may return and rely on the day of the elect one. For none shall be destroyed before the Lord of spirits, and none can be destroyed. And all who dwell in heaven received a command and power and one voice and one light like to fire. And they blessed him with their first words and exalted and praised him in their wisdom. And they were wise in utterance and in the spirit of life. And the Lord of spirits placed the elect one on the throne of glory. And he shall judge all the works of the holy above in heaven. And in the balance their deeds shall be weighed. 
and when he shall lift up his face to judge their secret ways according to the word of the name of the Lord of Spirits, and their path according to the way of the righteous judgment of the Lord of Spirits. Then they shall all speak with one voice and bless and glorify and exalt the name of the Lord of Spirits. And he will summon all the host of heavens, and all the holy ones above. And the host of God, the cherubim, seraphim, and ophanim. And all the angels of power, and all the angels of principalities, and the elect one. And the other powers on the earth and over the water. On that day shall raise one voice. And bless and glorify and exult in the spirit of faith and in the spirit of wisdom, and in the spirit of patience, and in the spirit of mercy, and in the spirit of judgment and of peace, and in the spirit of goodness, and shall all say with one voice, Blessed is he, and may the name of the Lord of Spirits be blessed for ever and ever. All who do not sleep above in heaven shall bless him. All the holy ones who are in heaven shall bless him and all the elect who dwell in the garden of life. And every spirit who is able to bless, and glorify, and exalt, and praise your blessed name. And to the extent of its ability all flesh shall glorify and bless your name for ever and ever. For great is the mercy of the Lord of spirits. He is long-suffering, and all his works and all that he has created he has revealed to the righteous and elect in the name of the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 62 Thus the Lord commanded the kings and the mighty and the exalted, and those who dwell on the earth, and said, Open your eyes and lift up your horns if you are able to recognize the elect one. And the Lord of Spirits seated him on the throne of his glory, and the spirit of righteousness was poured out on him. And the word of his mouth slays all the sinners and all the unrighteous are destroyed from in front of his face. Rev 19.15 And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And in that day all the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who hold the earth shall stand up and shall see and recognize that he sits on the throne of his glory and that righteousness is judged before him and no lying word is spoken before him. Then pain will come on them as on a woman in labor and she has pain in giving birth when her child enters the mouth of the womb and she has pain in childbirth and one portion of them shall look at the other, and they shall be terrified, and they shall look downcast. And pain shall seize them when they see that Son of Man sitting on the throne of his glory. Matt 25, 31 When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And the kings and the mighty and all who possess the earth shall bless and glorify and exalt him who rules over all who was hidden. For from the beginning the Son of Man was hidden. And the Most High preserved him in the presence of his might. And revealed him to the elect. And the congregation of the elect and holy shall be sown. And all the elect shall stand before him on that day and all the kings and the mighty and the exalted and those who rule the earth shall fall down before him on their faces, and worship and set their hope on that Son of Man, and petition him and supplicate for mercy at his hands. Nevertheless that Lord of Spirits will so press them that they shall heavily go out from his presence, and their faces shall be filled with shame and the darkness grows deeper on their faces, and he will deliver them to the angels for punishment, to execute vengeance on them because they have oppressed his children and his elect, and they shall be a spectacle for the righteous and for his elect, 
they shall rejoice over them. Because the wrath of the Lord of Spirits rests on them, and his sword is drunk with their blood. The righteous and elect shall be saved on that day, and they shall never again see the face of the sinners and unrighteous. And the Lord of Spirits will abide over them. And they shall eat, lie down and rise up with the Son of Man for ever and ever. The righteous and elect shall have risen from the earth, and cease to be downcast, and they will have been clothed with garments of life. And these shall be the garments of life from the Lord of Spirits. They shall not wear out, nor will your glory pass away from before the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 63 in those days shall the mighty and the kings who possess the earth beg him to grant them a little respite from his angels of punishment to whom they were delivered, that they might fall down and worship before the Lord of Spirits, and confess their sins before him. And they shall bless and glorify the Lord of Spirits, and say, Blessed is the Lord of Spirits and the Lord of Kings, and the Lord of the Mighty and the Lord of the Rich and the Lord of glory, and the Lord of wisdom. And every secret is revealed in front of you. Your power is from generation to generation, and your glory forever and ever. Deep and innumerable are all your secrets, and your righteousness is beyond reckoning. We have now learned that we should glorify and bless the Lord of kings and him who is king over all kings. And they shall say, Would that we had a respite to glorify and give thanks and confess our faith before his glory. And now we long for a little respite but find it not. We are driven away and obtain it not. And light has vanished from before us, and darkness is our dwelling place for ever and ever. Because we have not believed in him nor glorified the name of the Lord of Spirits. But our hope was in the scepter of our kingdom, and in our own glory. In the day of our suffering and tribulation he does not save and we find no respite for confession that our Lord is true in all his works. And in his judgments and his justice, and his judgments have no respect of persons. We pass away from before his face on account of our works, and all our sins are judged in righteousness. Now they shall say to themselves, our souls are full of unrighteous gain. But what we have gained does not prevent us from descending from the midst of our worldly gain into the torment of hell. And after that their faces shall be filled with darkness and shame before that Son of Man. And they shall be driven from his presence. And the sword shall abide before his face in their midst. Thus spoke the Lord of Spirits. This is the ordinance and judgment with respect to the mighty and the kings and the exalted and those who possess the earth before the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 64 And other forms I saw hidden in that place. I heard the voice of the angel saying, These are the angels who descended to the earth and revealed what was hidden to the children of men and seduced the children of men into committing sin. Chapter 65 And in those days Noah saw the earth that it had sunk down and its destruction was near. And he arose from there and went to the ends of the earth, and cried aloud to his grandfather Enoch. And Noah said three times with an embittered voice, Hear me, hear me, hear me. And I said to him, Tell me what it is that is falling out on the earth that the earth is in such evil plight and shaken, lest perchance I shall perish with it? And there was a great disturbance on the earth. And a voice was heard from heaven, and I fell on my face. And Enoch my grandfather came and stood by me, and said to me, Why have you cried to me with a bitter cry and weeping? A command has gone out from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learned all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the Satans. And all their powers, the most secret ones, and all the power of those who practice sorcery. 
and the power of witchcraft, and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth. And how silver is produced from the dust of the earth, and how soft metal originates in the earth. For lead and tin are not produced from the earth like the first, it is a fountain that produces them. And an angel stands in it, and that angel is preeminent. And after that my grandfather Enoch took hold of me by my hand and lifted me up, and said to me, Go, for I have asked the Lord of Spirits about this disturbance on the earth. And he said to me, Because of their unrighteousness their judgment has been determined and shall not be withheld by me forever. Because of the sorceries which they have searched out and learned. The earth and those who dwell on it shall be destroyed. And from these, they have no place of repentance forever. Because they have shown them what was hidden, and they are the damned. But as for you, my son, the Lord of Spirits knows that you are pure and guiltless of this reproach concerning the secrets. And he has destined your name to be among the holy. And will preserve you among those who dwell on the earth and has destined your righteous seed both for kingship and for great honors. And from your seed shall proceed a fountain of the righteous and holy without number forever. Chapter 66 And after that he showed me the angels of punishment who are prepared to come. And let loose all the powers of the waters which are beneath in the earth in order to bring judgment and destruction on all who dwell on the earth. And the Lord of Spirits gave commandment to the angels who were going out, that they should not cause the waters to rise, but should hold them in check. For those angels were in charge of the forces of the waters. And I went away from the presence of Enoch. Chapter 67 And in those days the word of God came to me, and he said to me, Noah, your lot has come up before me a lot without blame, a lot of love and righteousness. And now the angels are making a wooden structure. And when they have completed that task I will place my hand on it and preserve it. And there shall come out of it the seed of life. And a change shall set in so that the earth will not remain without inhabitants. And I will establish your seed before me forever and ever and I will spread abroad those who dwell with you. And the face of the earth will be fruitful. They shall be blessed and multiply on the earth in the name of the Lord. And he will imprison those angels who have shown unrighteousness. In that burning valley which my grandfather Enoch had formerly shown to me in the west among the mountains of gold and silver and iron and soft metal and tin, and I saw that valley in which there was a great earthquake and the tidal waves of the waters. And when all this took place, from that fiery molten metal and from the convulsion thereof in that place, there was a smell of sulfur produced, and it was connected with those waters. And that valley of the angels who had led mankind astray burned beneath that ground. And there were streams of fire throughout the valley where these angels are punished who had led astray those who dwell on the earth. But those waters shall in those days serve for the kings and the mighty and the exalted, and those who dwell on the earth, for the healing of the body, but for the punishment of the spirit. Their spirit is full of lust, that they will be punished in their body, for they have denied the Lord of spirits. They will see their punishment daily, and yet, they believe not in his name. There will be a relationship between the punishment and change. As their bodies burn, a change will take place in their spirit forever and ever. For before the Lord of spirits none shall utter an idle word. For the judgment shall come on them. Because they believe in the lust of their body and deny the spirit of the Lord and the waters will change in those days. For when those angels are punished in these waters, the springs shall change, and when the angels ascend, 
This water of the spring shall change their temperature and become cold. And I heard Michael answering and saying, This judgment in which the angels are judged is a testimony for the kings and the mighty who possess the earth. Because these waters of judgment minister to the healing of the body of the kings and the lust of their bodies. Therefore they will not see and will not believe that those waters will change and become a fire which burns forever. Chapter 68 And after that my grandfather Enoch gave me the explanations of all the secrets in the book of the parables which had been given to him. And he put them together for me in the words of the book of the parables. And on that day Michael answered Raphael and said, the power of the Spirit grips me and makes me tremble because of the severity of the judgment of the secrets and the judgment of the angels. Who can endure the severe judgment which has been executed and before which they melt away? And Michael answered again and said to Raphael, Who would not have a softened heart concerning it? And whose mind would not be troubled by this judgment against them because of those who have led them out? And it came to pass when he stood before the Lord of Spirits. Michael said thus to Raphael, I will not defend them under the eye of the Lord. For the Lord of Spirits has been angry with them because they act as if they were the Lord. Therefore all that is hidden shall come on them for ever and ever. For no other angel or man shall have his portion in this judgment. But they alone have received their judgment for ever and ever. Chapter 69 And after this judgment I will terrify and make them tremble because they have shown this to those who dwell on the earth. And behold the names of those angels. The first of them is Samjaza, the second Artakafa. And the third Armin the fourth Kokabe, the fifth Turiel, the sixth Rungel, the seventh Danjal, the eighth Nikol, the ninth Barakal, the tenth Azazel, the eleventh Armoros, the twelfth Batarjal, the thirteenth Pusajal, the fourteenth Hananal, the fifteenth Turl, and the sixteenth Simapesial, the seventeenth Jetrel, the eighteenth Tumiel, the nineteenth Turl, the twentieth Rumiel, the twenty-first Azaziel. And these are the chiefs of their angels and their names. And their leaders over hundreds, and leaders over fifties, and leaders over tens. The name of the first Jekin, that is, the one who led astray the sons of God. And brought them down to the earth, and led them astray through the daughters of men. And the second was named Espiel. He imparted to the holy sons of God evil counsel and led them astray so that they defiled their bodies with the daughters of men. And the third was named Gadriel. It is he who showed the children of men all the blows of death. And he led astray Eve, and showed the weapons of death to the sons of men. The shield and the coat of mail. And the sword for battle, and all the weapons of death to the children of men and from his hand they have proceeded against those who dwell on the earth from that day and forevermore. And the fourth was named Penemu. He taught the children of men the bitter and the sweet, and he taught them all the secrets of their wisdom, and he instructed mankind in writing with ink and paper, and thereby many sinned from eternity to eternity and until this day. For men were not created for the purpose of confirming their good faith with pen and ink. For men were created exactly like the angels, to the intent that they should continue pure and righteous. And death, which destroys everything, should not have taken hold of them. But through this their knowledge they are perishing, and through this power consumes them. And the fifth was named Kastaja. This is he who showed the children of men all the wicked blows of spirits and demons, and the blows of the embryo in the womb, that it may pass away, and the blows of the soul, the bites of the serpent. 
and the blows which befall through the midday heat, the son of the serpent named Tabiti. And this is the task of Caspiel, the chief of the oath which he showed to the holy ones when he dwelt high above in glory, and its name is Bica. This angel requested Michael to show him the hidden name, that he might enunciate it in the oath, so that those might quake before that name and oath who revealed all that was in secret to the children of men. And this is the power of this oath, for it is powerful and strong. And he placed the Sothiki in the hand of Michael. And these are the secrets of this oath, God's promise, that heaven was suspended before the world was created, and forever. And they are strong through his oath. And through it the earth was founded on the water. And from the secret recesses of the mountains come beautiful waters. From the creation of the world and to eternity. And through that oath the sea was created. And as its foundation he set for it the sand against the time of its anger that it dare not pass beyond it from the creation of the world to eternity. And through that oath are the depths made fast. And abide and stir not from their place from eternity to eternity. And through that oath the sun and moon complete their course and deviate not from their ordinance from eternity to eternity. And through that oath the stars complete their course, and he calls them by their names, and they answer him from eternity to eternity. And in like manner the spirits of the water, and of the winds, and of all kinds of spirits, and their paths from all the quarters of the winds respond to his command. And there are preserved the voices of the thunder and the light of the lightning. And there are preserved the storehouses of the hail and the storehouses of the hoarfrost. And the storehouses of the mist and the storehouses of the rain and the dew. And all these believe and give thanks before the Lord of spirits. And glorify him with all their power and their food is in every act of thanksgiving. They thank and glorify and exalt the name of the Lord of Spirits for ever and ever. And this oath is mighty over them and through it they are preserved and their paths are preserved. And their course is not destroyed. And there was great joy among them. And they blessed and glorified and exalted because the name of that Son of Man had been revealed to them. And he sat on the throne of his glory and the sum of judgment was given to the Son of Man. And he caused the sinners and all those who led the world astray to pass away and be destroyed from off the face of the earth. They shall be bound with chains, and shut up and imprisoned in their place of assembly. And all their works vanish from the face of the earth. And from that time forward, there shall be nothing corruptible. For that Son of Man has appeared, and has seated himself on the throne of his glory. And all evil shall pass away before his face. And the word of that Son of Man shall go out and be strong before the Lord of Spirits. Chapter 70 And it came to pass after this that during his lifetime his name was raised up to the Son of Man, and to the Lord of Spirits from among those who dwell on the earth. And he was raised aloft on the chariots of the Spirit, and his name vanished among them. And from that day I was no longer numbered among them. And he placed me between the two winds, between the north and the west, where the angels took the cords to measure the place for the elect and righteous for me. And there I saw the first fathers and the righteous who dwell in that place from the beginning. Chapter 71 and it came to pass after this that my spirit was translated and it ascended into heaven. And I saw the sons of the holy angels of God. They were walking on flames of fire. Their garments were white, and their faces shone like snow. And I saw two rivers of fire. And the light of that fire shone like hyacinth. And I fell on my face before the Lord of Spirits. And the angel Michael, one of the archangels, 
seized me by my right hand, and lifted me up and led me out into all the secrets. And he showed me all the secrets of righteousness. And he showed me all the secrets of the ends of heaven, and all the storehouses of all the stars, and all the lights, from where they proceed before the face of the holy ones. And he translated my spirit into heaven of heavens. And I saw there as it were built of crystals, and between those crystals tongues of living fire. Rev 21.10 And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, and shewed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, and her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. My spirit saw circle of fire binding around the house of fire, and on its four sides were rivers full of living fire, and they encircled that house. And round about were seraphim, cherubim, and ophanim. And these are they who sleep not and guard the throne of his glory. And I saw angels who could not be counted, a thousand thousands, and ten thousand times ten thousand, encircling that house. And Michael, and Raphael, and Gabriel, and Phanuel, and the holy angels who are in heaven above, go in and out of that house. And they came out from that house, and Michael and Gabriel, Raphael and Phanuel, and many holy angels without number. And with them the head of days, his head white and pure as wool, and his raiment indescribable. And I fell on my face, and my whole body melted, and my spirit was transformed. And I cried with a loud voice in the spirit of power. And I blessed and glorified and exalted. And these blessings which came from my mouth were very pleasing before that head of days. And the head of days came with Michael and Gabriel, Raphael and Phanuel, and thousands and ten thousands of angels without number. And the angel came to me and greeted me with his voice, and said to me, this is the Son of Man who is born to righteousness, and righteousness abides over him. And the righteousness of the head of days forsakes him not. And he said to me, He proclaims to you peace in the name of the world to come. For from their peace has proceeded since the creation of the world. And it shall be with you forever and forever and ever. J.O.H. 17.24 Father I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world, and all shall walk in his ways since righteousness never forsook him. Their dwelling place shall be with him and it will be their heritage and they shall not be separated from him for ever and ever and ever. And so there shall be length of days with the Son of Man. And the righteous shall have peace and an upright way in the name of the Lord of Spirits for ever and ever. HEB 4 colon 3 For we which have believed do enter into rest one as he said. As I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest. Although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Chapter 72 The Book of the Courses of the Luminaries of Heaven The Relations of Each, According to Their Name, Origin, and Months which Uriel, the Holy Angel who was with me, who is their guide, showed me. And he showed me all their regulations exactly as they are and how it is with each of the years of the world and to eternity, until the new creation is accomplished which endures until eternity. And this is the first law of the luminaries. The luminary the sun has its rising in the eastern doors of heaven, and its setting in the western doors of heaven. And I saw six doors in which the sun rises and six doors in which the sun sets and the moon rises and sets in these doors. 
and the leaders of the stars and those whom they lead. Six in the east and six in the west. And all following each other in accurately corresponding order. There were also many windows to the right and left of these doors. And first there goes out the great luminary named the sun. And his orbit is like the orbit of heaven, and he is quite filled with illuminating and heating fire. The chariot on which he ascends, the wind drives, and the sun goes down from heaven and returns through the north in order to reach the east and is so guided that he comes to the appropriate door and shines in the face of heaven. In this way he rises in the first month in the great door, which is the fourth. And in that fourth door from which the sun rises in the first month are twelve windows, from which proceed a flame when they are opened in their season. When the sun rises in heaven, he comes out through that fourth door. Thirty mornings in succession, and sets accurately in the fourth door in the west of the heaven. And during this period the day becomes daily longer and nights grow shorter to the thirtieth morning. On that day the day is longer than the night by a ninth part. And the day amounts exactly to ten parts and the night to eight parts. And the sun rises from that fourth door, and sets in the fourth and returns to the fifth door of the east thirty mornings and rises from it and sets in the fifth door. And then the day becomes longer by two parts and amounts to eleven parts. And the night becomes shorter and amounts to seven parts. And it returns to the east and enters into the sixth door. And rises and sets in the sixth door one in thirty mornings on account of its sign. On that day the day becomes longer than the night. And the day becomes double the night, and the day becomes twelve parts. And the night is shortened and becomes six parts. And the sun mounts up to make the day shorter and the night longer. And the sun returns to the east and enters into the sixth door. And rises from it and sets thirty mornings. And when thirty mornings are accomplished, the day decreases by exactly one part and becomes eleven parts, and the night seven. And the sun goes out from that sixth door in the west, and goes to the east and rises in the fifth door for thirty mornings, and sets in the west again in the fifth western door. On that day the day decreases by two parts, and amounts to ten parts and the night to eight parts. And the sun goes out from that fifth door and sets in the fifth door of the west. And rises in the fourth door for one and thirty mornings on account of its sign, and sets in the west. On that day the day becomes equal with the night in length. And the night amounts to nine parts and the day to nine parts. And the sun rises from that door and sets in the west and returns to the east and rises thirty mornings in the third door and sets in the west in the third door. And on that day the night becomes longer than the day. And night becomes longer than night. And day shorter than day until the thirtieth morning. And the night amounts exactly to ten parts and the day to eight parts. And the sun rises from that third door and sets in the third door in the west and returns to the east. And for thirty mornings rises in the second door in the east. And in like manner sets in the second door in the west of heaven. And on that day the night amounts to eleven parts and the day to seven parts. And the sun rises on that day from that second door and sets in the west in the second door and returns to the east into the first door for one and thirty mornings, and sets in the first door in the west of heaven. And on that day the night becomes longer and amounts to the double of the day. And the night amounts exactly to twelve parts and the day to six. And the sun has traversed the divisions of his orbit and turns again on those divisions of his orbit and enters that door thirty mornings and sets also in the west opposite to it. 
and on that night has the night decreased in length by a ninth part. And the night has become eleven parts and the day seven parts. And the sun has returned and entered into the second door in the east. And returns on those his divisions of his orbit for thirty mornings, rising and setting. And on that day the night decreases in length. And the night amounts to ten parts and the day to eight. And on that day the sun rises from that door, and sets in the west, and returns to the east. And rises in the third door for one hand thirty mornings, and sets in the west of heaven. On that day the night decreases and amounts to nine parts. And the day to nine parts, and the night is equal to the day. And the year is exactly as to its days three hundred and sixty-four. And the length of the day and of the night. And the shortness of the day and of the night arise through the course of the sun these distinctions are separated. So it comes that its course becomes daily longer. And its course nightly shorter. And this is the law and the course of the great luminary which is named the sun. And his return as often as he returns sixty times and rises, for ever and ever. And that which rises is the great luminary. And is so named according to its appearance, according as the Lord commanded. As he rises, so he sets and decreases not, and rests not. But runs day and night, and his light is sevenfold brighter than that of the moon. But in regard to size, they are both equal. Chapter 73 And after this law I saw another law dealing with the smaller luminary, which is named the moon. And her orbit is like the orbit of heaven, and her chariot in which she rides is driven by the wind. And light is given to her in measurement. And her rising and setting change every month and her days are like the days of the sun and when her light is uniformly full, it amounts to the seventh part of the light of the sun. And thus she rises. And her first phase in the east comes out on the thirtieth morning and on that day she becomes visible. And constitutes for you the first phase of the moon on the thirtieth day together with the sun in the door where the sun rises. And the one half of her goes out by a seventh part, and her whole disc is empty. Without light, with the exception of one seventh part of it. And the fourteenth part of her light. And when she receives one seventh part of the half of her light, her light amounts to one seventh part and the half thereof. And she sets with the sun, and when the sun rises the moon rises with him and receives the half of one part of light. And in that night in the beginning of her morning in the beginning of the lunar day the moon sets with the sun. And is invisible that night with the fourteen parts and the half of one of them. And she rises on that day with exactly a seventh part and comes out and recedes from the rising of the sun. And in her remaining days she becomes bright in the remaining thirteen parts. Chapter 74 And I saw another course, a law for her, and how according to that law she performs her monthly revolution. And all these Uriel, the holy angel who is the leader of them all, showed to me, and their positions, and I wrote down their positions as he showed them to me, and I wrote down their months as they were. And the appearance of their lights until fifteen days were accomplished. In single seventh parts she accomplishes all her light in the east. And in single seventh parts accomplishes all her darkness in the west. And in certain months she alters her settings and in certain months she pursues her own peculiar course. In two months the moon sets with the sun. In those two middle doors, the third and the fourth, she goes out for seven days, and turns about and returns again through the door where the sun rises, and all her light is full. And she recedes from the sun, and in eight days enters the sixth door from which the sun goes out. 
and when the sun goes out from the fourth door she goes out seven days. Until she goes out from the fifth and turns back again in seven days into the fourth door and accomplishes all her light. And she recedes and enters into the first door in eight days. And she returns again in seven days into the fourth door from which the sun goes out. Thus I saw their positions, how the moons rose and the sun set in those days. And if five years are added together the sun has an excess of thirty days. And all the days which accrue to it for one of those five years, when they are full, amount to three hundred and sixty-four days. And an excess of the sun and of the stars amounts to six days. In five years six days every year come to thirty days. And the moon falls behind the sun and stars to the number of thirty days. And the sun and the stars bring in all the years exactly. So that they do not advance or delay their position by a single day to eternity. But complete the years with perfect justice in 364 days. In three years there are 1092 days, and in five years 1820 days, so that in eight years there are 2912 days. For the moon alone the days amount in three years to one thousand and sixty-two days. And in five years she falls fifty days behind to the sum of one thousand seven hundred and seventy there is five to be added one thousand and sixty-two days. And in five years there are one thousand seven hundred and seventy days, so that for the moon the days six and eight years amount to twenty-one thousand eight hundred and thirty-two days. For in eight years she falls behind to the amount of eighty days. All the days she falls behind in eight years are eighty. And the year is accurately completed in conformity with their world stations and the stations of the sun. Which rise from the doors through which the sun rises and sets thirty days. Chapter 75 And the Leaders of the Heads of the Thousands who are in charge of the whole creation and over all the stars, have also to do with the four days of the year which are not counted in the yearly calendar, being not separated from their office, according to the reckoning of the year. And these render service on the four days which are not counted in the reckoning of the year. And because of them men go wrong in them, for those luminaries truly render service to the stations of the world. One in the first door, one on the third door of heaven. One in the fourth door, and one in the sixth door. And the exactness of the year is accomplished through its separate 364 stations. For the signs and the times and the years and the days the angel Uriel showed to me whom the Lord of glory hath set forever over all the luminaries of heaven, in heaven and in the world, that they should rule on the face of heaven and be seen on the earth, and be leaders for the day via the sun and the night via the moon and stars and all the ministering creatures which make their revolution and all the chariots of heaven. In like manner, twelve doors Uriel showed me, open in the sphere of the sun's chariot in heaven, through which the rays of the sun break out, and from them is warmth diffused over the earth, when they are opened at their appointed seasons, and there are openings for the wind and the spirit of dew that when they are opened, stand open in heaven at the ends of the earth. As for the twelve doors in the heaven, at the ends of the earth, out of which go up the sun, moon, and stars, and all the works of heaven in the east and in the west. There are many windows open to the left and right of them, and one window at its appointed season produces warmth, corresponding to the doors from which the stars come out as he has commanded them, and in which they are set, corresponding to their number. And I saw chariots in heaven, running in the world, above those doors in which the stars that never set. And one is larger than all the rest, and it is that that makes its course through the entire world. 
Chapter 76 At the ends of the earth I saw twelve doors open to all quarters of heaven, from which the winds go out and blow over the earth. Three of them are open on the face of heaven, and three in the west, and three on the right of heaven, and three on the left. And the three first are those of the east, and three are of the north, and three, after those on the left, of the south, and three of the west. Through four of these come winds of blessing and prosperity, and from those eight come hurtful winds. When they are sent, they bring destruction on all the earth and the water on it, and on all who dwell on it, and on everything which is in the water and on the land. And the first wind from those doors, called the east wind, comes out through the first door which is in the east, inclining towards the south. From it desolation, drought, heat, and destruction come out. And through the second door in the middle comes what is fitting, and there come rain and fruitfulness and prosperity and dew. And through the third door which lies toward the north comes cold and drought. And after these, comes out the south winds through three doors. Through the first door of them inclining to the east comes out a hot wind. And through the middle door next to it there comes out fragrant smells, and dew and rain, and prosperity and health. And through the third door which lies to the west dew comes out and also rain, locusts and desolation. And from the seventh door in the east comes the north winds, and dew, rain, locusts, and desolation. And from the center door come health and rain and dew and prosperity. And through the third door in the west come cloud and hoarfrost, and snow and rain, and dew and locusts. And after these came the four west winds. Through the first door adjoining the north come out dew and hoarfrost, and cold and snow and frost. And from the center door come out dew and rain, and prosperity and blessing. And through the last door which adjoins the south, come drought and desolation, and burning and destruction. And the twelve doors of the four quarters of heaven are therewith completed. And all their laws and all their plagues and all their benefactions have I shown to you, my son Methuselah. Chapter 77 and the first quarter is called the east, because it is the first, and the second, the south, because the Most High will descend there. From there will he who is blessed forever descend. And the west quarter is named the diminished, because there all the luminaries of the heaven wane and go down. And the fourth quarter, named the north, is divided into three parts. The first of them is for the dwelling of men and the second contains seas of water, and the abyss and forests and rivers, and darkness and clouds. And the third part contains the garden of righteousness. I saw seven high mountains, higher than all the mountains which are on the earth. And from here comes hoarfrost, and days, seasons, and years pass away. I saw seven rivers on the earth larger than all the rivers. One of them coming from the west pours its waters into the great sea. And these two come from the north to the sea and pour their waters into the Erythrean Sea in the east. And the remaining four come out on the side of the north to their own sea, two of them to the Erythrean Sea. And two into the great sea and some say they discharge themselves there into the desert. I saw seven great islands in the sea and in the mainland two in the mainland and five in the great sea. Chapter 78 And the names of the sun are the following, the first Orgers, and the second Tomas. And the moon has four names, the first name is Asanja, the second Ebia, the third Benes, and the fourth Eri. These are the two great luminaries. Their spheres are like the sphere of the heaven, and the size of the spheres of both is alike. In the sphere of the sun there are seven portions of light which are added to it more than to the moon. And in fixed measurements it is transferred until the seventh portion of the sun is exhausted. And they set and enter the doors of the west, and make their revolution by the north, 
and come out through the eastern doors on the face of heaven. And when the moon rises one fourteenth part appears in heaven, and on the fourteenth day the moon's light becomes full. And fifteen parts of light are transferred to her until the fifteenth day when her light is full. According to the sign of the year, and she becomes fifteen parts, and the moon grows by an additional fourteen parts. And as the moon's waning decreases on the first day to fourteen parts of her light, on the second to thirteen parts of light, on the third to twelve, on the fourth to eleven, on the fifth to ten, on the sixth to nine, on the seventh to eight, on the eighth to seven, on the ninth to six, on the tenth to five, on the eleventh to four, on the twelfth to three, on the thirteenth to two, on the fourteenth to the half of a seventh, and all her remaining light disappears wholly on the fifteenth. And in certain months the month has twenty-nine days and once twenty-eight. And Uriel showed me another law. When light is transferred to the moon, and on which side it is transferred to her by the sun, during all the period during which the moon is growing in her light, she is transferring it to herself when opposite to the sun during fourteen days her light is full in heaven. And when she is ablaze throughout, her light is full in heaven. And on the first day she is called the new moon. For on that day the light rises on her. She becomes full moon exactly on the day when the sun sets in the west. And from the east she rises at night. And the moon shines the whole night through until the sun rises over against her and the moon is seen over against the sun. On the side whence the light of the moon comes out. There again she wanes until all the light vanishes and all the days of the month are at an end and her sphere is empty, void of light. And three months she makes of thirty days. And at her time she makes three months of twenty-nine days each in which she accomplishes her waning in the first period of time, and in the first door for one hundred and seventy-seven days. And in the time of her going out she appears for three months consisting of thirty days each, and she appears for three months consisting of twenty-nine each. By night she looks like a man for twenty days each time, and by day she appears like heaven, and there is nothing else in her save her light. Chapter 79 And now, my son Methuselah, I have shown you everything. And the law of all the stars of heaven is completed. And he showed me all the laws of these for every day, and for every season of every rule, and for every year, and for its going out, and for the order prescribed to it every month and every week and the waning of the moon which takes place in the sixth door. For in the sixth door her light is accomplished. And after that there is the beginning of the waning. For and the waning which takes place in the first door in its season. Until 177 days are accomplished. Calculated according to weeks, 25 weeks and 2 days. She falls behind the sun and the order of the stars exactly five days in the course of one period. And when this place which you see has been traversed, such is the picture and sketch of every luminary which Uriel the Archangel, who is their leader, showed to me. Chapter 80 And in those days the angel Uriel answered and said to me, Behold, I have shown you everything, Enoch, and I have revealed everything to you that you should see this sun and this moon, and the leaders of the stars of heaven and all those who turn them, their tasks and times and departures. And in the days of the sinners the years shall be shortened, and their seed shall be tardy on their lands and fields, and all things on the earth shall alter, and shall not appear in their time and the rain shall be kept back, and heaven shall withhold it. And in those times the fruits of the earth shall be backward, 
and shall not grow in their time, and the fruits of the trees shall be withheld in their time. And the moon shall alter her customs, and not appear at her time. And in those days the sun shall be seen and he shall journey in the evening on the extremity of the great chariot in the west, and shall shine more brightly than accords with the order of light. And many rulers of the stars shall transgress their customary order. And these shall alter their orbits and tasks, and not appear at the seasons prescribed to them. And the whole order of the stars shall be concealed from the sinners. And the thoughts of those on the earth shall err concerning them. And they shall be altered from all their ways, they shall err and take them to be gods. And evil shall be multiplied on them, and punishment shall come on them so as to destroy all. Chapter 81 And he said to me, Enoch, look at these heavenly tablets and read what is written on them, and mark every individual fact. And I looked at the heavenly tablets, and read everything which was written on it and understood everything. And read the book of all the deeds of mankind, and of all the children of flesh. That shall be on the earth to the end of generations. And I bless the great Lord the King of glory for ever. In that he has made all the works of the world. And I exalted the Lord because of his patience and blessed him because of the children of men. And then I said, Blessed is the man who dies in righteousness and goodness, concerning whom there is no book of unrighteousness written, and against whom no day of judgment shall be found. And the seven holy ones brought me and placed me on the earth before the door of my house, and said to me, Declare everything to your son Methuselah, and show to all your children that no flesh is righteous in the sight of the Lord, for he is their creator. For one year we will leave you with your son, until you give your last commands, that you may teach your children and record it for them, and testify to all your children. And in the second year they shall take you from their midst. Let your heart be strong. For the good shall proclaim righteousness to the good. The righteous shall rejoice with the righteous. And shall wish one another well. But the sinners shall die with the sinners. And the apostate shall go down with the apostate. And those who practice righteousness shall die on account of the deeds of men. And be taken away on account of the deeds of the godless. And in those days they finished speaking to me, and I came to my people. Blessing the Lord of the World Chapter 82 And now, my son Methuselah, all these things I am recounting to you and writing down for you. And I have revealed to you everything. And given you books concerning all these. So, my son Methuselah, preserve the books from your father's hand and see that you deliver them to the generations of the world. I have given wisdom to you and to your children, and those children to come, that they may give it to their children for generations. This wisdom namely that passes their understanding, and those who understand it shall not sleep, but shall listen that they may learn this wisdom and it shall please those that eat thereof better than good food. Blessed are all the righteous. Blessed are all those who walk in the way of righteousness and sin not as the sinners. In the numbering of all their days in which the sun traverses heaven, entering into and departing from the doors for thirty days with the heads of thousands of the order of the stars together with the four which are within the calendar which divide the four portions of the year, which lead them and enter with them four days. Owing to them men shall be at fault and not count them in the whole number of days of the year. Men shall be at fault and not recognize them accurately, for they belong to the calculations of the year and are truly recorded therein forever one in the first door and one in the third, 
and one in the fourth and one in the sixth. And the year is completed in three hundred and sixty-four days. And the account of it is accurate and the recorded counting thereof is exact. For the luminaries, and months and festivals, and years and days. Has Uriel shown and revealed to me? To whom the Lord of the whole creation of the world hath subjected the host of heaven. And he has power over night and day in heaven to cause the light to shine on men via the sun, moon, and stars. And all the powers of the heaven which revolve in their circular chariots. And these are the orders of the stars, which set in their places. And in their seasons and festivals and months. And these are the names of those who lead them. Who watch that they enter at their times, in their orders, in their seasons. In their months, in their periods of dominion, and in their positions. Their four leaders who divide the four parts of the year enter first. And after them the twelve leaders of the orders who divide the months. And for the three hundred and sixty days there are heads over thousands who divide the days. And for the four days in the calendar there are the leaders which divide the four parts of the year. And these heads over thousands are interspersed between leader and leader. Each behind a station, but their leaders make the division. And these are the names of the leaders who divide the four parts of the year which are ordained. Melchiel, Helemelech, and Melijol, and Nerol. And the names of those who lead them, Adnerel, and Ajasusel, and Elomel. These three follow the leaders of the orders. And there is one that follows the three leaders of the orders which follow those leaders of stations that divide the four parts of the year. In the beginning of the year Melkajal rises first and rules, who is named Tamani and Son. And all the days of his dominion while he bears rule are ninety-one days. And these are the signs of the days which are to be seen on earth in the days of his dominion. Sweat, and heat, and calms, and all the trees bear fruit, and leaves are produced on all the trees. And the harvest of wheat, and the rose flowers, and all the flowers which come out in the field. But the trees of the winter season become withered. And these are the names of the leaders which are under them. Berkel, Zelebzel, and another who is added ahead of a thousand, called Halujaseph. And the days of the dominion of this leader are at an end. The next leader after him is Halemelech, whom one names the Shining Sun. And all the days of his light are ninety-one days. And these are the signs of his days on the earth. Glowing heat and dryness, and the trees ripen their fruits and produce all their fruits ripe and ready. And the sheep pair and become pregnant, and all the fruits of the earth are gathered in, and everything that is in the fields, and the winepress. These things take place in the days of his dominion. These are the names, and the orders, and the leaders of those heads of thousands. Gidiljau, Kuel, and Hiel, and the name of the head of a thousand which is added to them. Asphel, and the days of his dominion are at an end. Chapter 83 And now, my son Methuselah, I will show you all my visions which I have seen, recounting them before you. I saw two visions before I got married, and the one was quite unlike the other. The first when I was learning to write. The second before I married your mother was when I saw a terrible vision. And regarding them I prayed to the Lord. I had laid down in the house of my grandfather Mahalalel. When I saw in a vision how heaven collapsed and was carried off and fell to the earth. And when it fell to the earth I saw how the earth was swallowed up in a great abyss and mountains were suspended on mountains, and hills sank down on hills, and high trees were ripped from their stems, and hurled down and sunk in the abyss. And then a word fell into my mouth, and I lifted up my voice to cry aloud, and said, 
the earth is destroyed. And my grandfather Mahalalel woke me as I lay near him, and said to me, Why do you cry so, my son, and why do you make such moaning? And I recounted to him the whole vision which I had seen, and he said to me, You have seen a terrible thing, my son. Your dream is of a grave time and concerns the secrets of all the sin of the earth. It must sink into the abyss and be totally destroyed. And now, my son, arise and pray to the Lord of glory, since you are a believer. That a remnant may remain on the earth. And that he may not destroy the whole earth. My son, from heaven all this will come on the earth. And on the earth there will be great destruction. After that I arose and prayed and implored and besought God, and wrote down my prayer for the generations of the world. And I will show everything to you, my son Methuselah. And when I had gone out below and seen the heaven, and the sun rising in the east, and the moon setting in the west, and a few stars, and the whole earth, and everything as he had known it in the beginning, then I blessed the Lord of Judgment and exalted him because he had made the sun to go out from the windows of the east. And he ascended and rose on the face of heaven, and set out and kept traversing the path shown to it. Chapter 84 And I lifted up my hands in righteousness and blessed the Holy and Great One, and spoke with the breath of my mouth and with the tongue of flesh which God has made for the children of the flesh of men, that they should speak therewith. And he gave them breath and a tongue and a mouth that they should speak therewith. Blessed be you, zero Lord, King, great and mighty in your greatness, Lord of the whole creation of heaven, King of kings and God of the whole world and your power and kingship and greatness abide for ever and ever. And throughout all generations your dominion and all heavens are your throne for ever, and the whole earth your footstool for ever and ever. For you have made and you rule all things, and nothing is too hard for you. Wisdom never departs from the place of your throne, nor turns away from your presence. You know and see and hear everything. And there is nothing hidden from you for you see everything. And now the angels of your heavens are guilty of trespass. And on the flesh of men abide your wrath until the great day of judgment. And now, zero God and Lord and great King, I implore and beseech you to fulfill my prayer. To leave me a posterity on earth and not destroy all the flesh of man, and make the earth without inhabitant, so that there should be an eternal destruction. And now, my Lord, destroy from the earth the flesh which has aroused your wrath, but the flesh of righteousness and uprightness establish as an eternal plant bearing seed forever, and hide not your face from the prayer of your servant, zero Lord. Chapter 85 And after this I saw another dream, and I will show the whole dream to you, my son. And Enoch lifted up his voice and spoke to his son Methuselah. I will speak to you, my son, hear my words. Incline your ear to the dream of your father. Before I married your mother Edna, I saw in a vision on my bed. And behold a bull came out from the earth, and that bull was white. And after it came out a heifer. And along with this later came out two bulls. One of them black and the other red. And that black bull gored the red one and pursued him over the earth. And then I could no longer see that red bull. But that black bull grew and that heifer went with him. And I saw that many oxen proceeded from him which resembled and followed him. And that cow, that first one, went from the presence of that first bull in order to seek that red one. 
but found him not, and mourned with a great lamentation and sought him. And I looked until that first bull came to her and quieted her. And from that time onward she cried no more. And after that she bore another white bull. And after him she bore many bulls and black cows. And I saw in my sleep that white bull likewise grew and became a great white bull. And from him proceeded many white bulls, and they resembled him. And they began to father many white bulls, which resembled them, one following another. Chapter 86 And again I looked with my eyes as I slept, and I saw the heaven above. And behold a star fell from heaven, and it arose and ate and pastured among those oxen. And after that I saw the large and the black oxen, and behold they all changed their stalls and pastures and their cattle, and began to live with each other. And again I saw in the vision, and looked towards heaven. And behold I saw many stars descend and cast themselves down from heaven to that first star. And they became bulls among those cattle and pastured with them. And I looked at them and saw they all let out their private members, like horses, and began to mount the cows of the bulls. And they all became pregnant and bore elephants, camels, and asses. And all the bulls feared them and were frightened of them. And began to bite with their teeth and to devour, and to gore with their horns. And, moreover, they began to devour those oxen. And behold all the children of the earth began to tremble and shake before them and to flee from them. Chapter 87 And again I saw how they began to gore each other and to devour each other, and the earth began to cry aloud. And I raised my eyes again to heaven, and I saw in the vision. And behold there came out from heaven beings who were like white men. And four went out from that place, and three others with them. And those three that had come out last grasped me by my hand and took me up. Away from the generations of the earth. And raised me up to a high place, and showed me a tower raised high above the earth. And all the hills were lower. And one said to me, Remain here until you see everything that befalls those elephants, camels, and asses, and the stars and the oxen, and all of them. Chapter 88 And I saw one of those four who had come out first. And he seized that first star which had fallen from heaven, and bound it hand and foot and cast it into an abyss. Now that abyss was narrow and deep, and horrible and dark. 2p2 colon 4 for if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment. And one of them drew a sword, and gave it to those elephants and camels and asses, then they began to smite each other. And the whole earth shook because of them. And as I was beholding in the vision one of those four who had come out stoned them from heaven, and gathered and took all the great stars whose private members were like those of horses, and bound them all hand and foot, and threw them in an abyss of the earth. Chapter 89 And one of those four went to that white bull and instructed him in a secret. And he was terrified. He was born a bull and became a man, and built for himself a great vessel and dwelt on it. And three bulls dwelt with him in the vessel, and they were covered over. And again I raised my eyes towards heaven and saw a high roof, with seven water torrents on it. And those torrents flowed with much water into an enclosure. And I looked again and behold fountains were opened on the surface of that great enclosure. And the water began to bubble and swell and rise on the surface. And I saw that enclosure until all its surface was covered with water. And the water, the darkness, and mist increased on it. And as I looked at the height of that water, 
the water had risen above the height of the enclosure and was streaming over the enclosure, and it stood on the earth. And all the cattle of the enclosure were gathered together until I saw how they sank and were swallowed up and perished in that water. But that vessel floated on the water, while all the oxen and elephants and camels and asses sank to the bottom with all the animals, so that I could no longer see them, and they were not able to escape, but perished and sank into the depths. And again I watched in the vision until those water torrents were removed from that high roof. And the chasms of the earth were leveled up and other abysses were opened. Then the water began to run down into these abysses. Until the earth became visible, but that vessel settled on the earth. And the darkness retired and light appeared. But that white bull which had become a man came out of that vessel and the three bulls with him, and one of those three was white like that bull, and one of them was red as blood, and one black. And that white bull departed from them, and they began to bring out beasts of the field and birds, so that there arose different genera, lions, tigers, wolves, dogs, hyenas, wild boars, foxes, squirrels, swine, falcons, vultures, kites, eagles, and ravens. And among them was born a white bull. And they began to bite one another. But that white bull which was born among them fathered a wild ass and a white bull with it, and the wild asses multiplied. But that bull which was born from him fathered a black wild boar and a white sheep. And the former fathered many boars, but the sheep gave birth to twelve sheep. And when those twelve sheep had grown, they gave up one of them to the asses. And the asses again gave up that sheep to the wolves, and that sheep grew up among the wolves. And the Lord brought the eleven sheep to live with it and to pasture with it among the wolves, and they multiplied and became many flocks of sheep. And the wolves began to fear them. And they oppressed them until they destroyed their little ones and they threw their young into a deep river. But those sheep began to cry aloud on account of their little ones, and to complain to their Lord. And a sheep which had been saved from the wolves fled and escaped to the wild asses. And I saw the sheep how they lamented and cried, and besought their Lord with all their might, until that Lord of the sheep descended at the voice of the sheep from a high abode and came to them and pastured them. And he called that sheep which had escaped the wolves, and spoke with it concerning the wolves that it should admonish them not to touch the sheep. And the sheep went to the wolves according to the word of the Lord. And another sheep met it and went with it. And the two went and entered together into the assembly of those wolves and spoke with them and admonished them not to touch the sheep from then on. And on it I saw the wolves, and how they more harshly oppressed the sheep with all their power, and the sheep cried aloud. And the Lord came to the sheep and they began to beat those wolves. And the wolves began to make lamentation. But the sheep became quiet and ceased to cry out. And I saw the sheep until they departed from among the wolves. But the eyes of the wolves were blinded, and the wolves departed in pursuit of the sheep with all their power. And the Lord of the sheep went with them, as their leader, and all his sheep followed him. And his face was dazzling and glorious and terrible to behold. But the wolves began to pursue those sheep until they reached a sea of water. And that sea was divided, and the water stood on the side and on that before their face. And their Lord led them and placed himself between them and the wolves. And as those wolves had not yet seen the sheep, they proceeded into the midst of that sea. And the wolves followed the sheep, and those wolves ran after them into that sea. And when they saw the Lord of the sheep, they turned to flee before his face, but that sea gathered itself together. 
and became as it had been created, and the water swelled and rose until it covered the wolves. And I watched until all the wolves who pursued those sheep perished and were drowned. But the sheep escaped from that water and went out into a wilderness, where there was no water and no grass, and they began to open their eyes and to see. And I saw the Lord of the sheep pasturing them and giving them water and grass, and that sheep going and leading them. And the sheep ascended to the summit of that high rock, and the Lord of the sheep sent it to them. And after that I saw the Lord of the sheep who stood before them, and his appearance was great and terrible and majestic. And all those sheep saw him and were afraid before his face, and they all feared and trembled because of him. And they cried to that sheep which was among them, "We are not able to stand before our Lord or to behold him." And that sheep which led them again ascended to the summit of that rock, but the sheep began to be blinded and to wander from the way which he had showed them. But that sheep did not realize it, and the Lord of the sheep was very angry with them. And that sheep discovered it and went down from the summit of the rock, and came to the sheep and found the greatest part of them blinded and fallen away. And when they saw it, they feared and trembled at its presence, and desired to return to their folds. And that sheep took other sheep with it, and came to those sheep which had fallen away, and began to slay them. And the sheep feared its presence, and thus that sheep brought back those sheep that had fallen away, and they returned to their folds. And I saw in this vision until that sheep became a man and built a house for the Lord of the sheep and placed all the sheep in that house. And I saw until this sheep which had met that sheep which led them fell asleep. And I saw until all the great sheep perished and little ones arose in their place. And they came to a pasture and approached a stream of water. Then that sheep, their leader, which had become a man. Withdrew from them and fell asleep, and all the sheep looked for it and cried over it with a great crying. And I saw until they left off crying for that sheep and crossed that stream of water. And there arose the two sheep as leaders in the place of those which had led them and fallen asleep. And I saw until the sheep came to a good place, and a pleasant and glorious land. And I saw until those sheep were satisfied. And that house stood among them in the pleasant land, and sometimes their eyes were opened, and sometimes blinded, until another sheep arose and led them and brought them all back, and their eyes were opened, and the dogs and the foxes and the wild boars began to devour those sheep until the Lord of the sheep raised up another sheep, a ram from their midst, which led them. And that ram began to butt on either side those dogs, foxes, and wild boars until he had destroyed them all. And that sheep whose eyes were opened saw that ram, which was among the sheep, until it forsook its glory and began to butt those sheep and trampled on them and behaved itself unseemly. And the Lord of the sheep sent the lamb to another lamb and raised it to being a ram and leader of the sheep instead of that ram which had forsaken its glory. And it went to it and spoke to it alone and raised it to being a ram, and made it the prince and leader of the sheep. But during all these things, those dogs oppressed the sheep, and the first ram pursued the second ram, and the second ram arose and fled before it. And I saw until those dogs pulled down the first ram, and that second ram arose and led the little sheep, and those sheep grew and multiplied. But all the dogs and foxes and wild boars feared and fled before it, and that ram butted and killed the wild beasts. And those wild beasts had no longer any power among the sheep, and Rob bed them no more of anything. And that ram fathered many sheep and fell asleep, 
And a little sheep became ram in its place, and became prince and leader of those sheep. And that house became great and broad, and it was built for those sheep. And a high and great tower was built on the house for the lord of the sheep. And that house was low, but the tower was elevated and high. And the lord of the sheep stood on that tower and they offered a full table before him. And again I saw those sheep that they again erred and went many ways. And forsook that their house, and the lord of the sheep called some from among the sheep and sent them to the sheep. But the sheep began to slay them. And one of them was saved and was not slain, and it spat away and cried aloud over the sheep. And they sought to slay it, but the lord of the sheep saved it from the sheep. And brought it up to me, and caused it to live there. And many other sheep he sent to those sheep to testify to them and lament over them. And after that I saw that when they forsook the house of the Lord and his tower they fell away entirely, and their eyes were blinded. And I saw the Lord of the sheep how he worked much slaughter among them in their herds until those sheep invited that slaughter and betrayed his place. And he gave them over into the hands of the lions and tigers, and wolves and hyenas, and into the hand of the foxes, and to all the wild beasts. And those wild beasts began to tear in pieces those sheep. And I saw that he forsook their house and their tower and gave them all into the hand of the lions, to tear and devour them into the hand of all the wild beasts. And I began to cry aloud with all my power, and to appeal to the lord of the sheep, because the sheep were being devoured by all the wild beasts. But he remained unmoved, though he saw it, and rejoiced that they were devoured and swallowed and robbed, and left them to be devoured in the hand of all the beasts. And he called seventy shepherds, and gave those sheep to them that they might pasture them. And he spoke to the shepherds and their companions, Let each individual of you pasture the sheep from now on, and everything that I shall command you that do you and I will deliver them over to you duly numbered, and tell you which of them are to be destroyed, and them you will destroy. And he gave over to them those sheep, and he called another and spoke to him, Observe and mark everything that the shepherds will do to those sheep, for they will destroy more of them than I have commanded them and every excess and the destruction which will be done through the shepherds. Record how many they destroy according to my command, and how many according to their own caprice. Record against every individual shepherd all the destruction he effects, and read out before me by number how many they destroy, and how many they deliver over for destruction that I may have this as a testimony against them, and know every deed of the shepherds, that I may comprehend and see what they do, whether or not they abide by my command which I have commanded them. But they shall not know it, and you shall not declare it to them, nor admonish them, but only record against each individual all the destruction which the shepherds effect each in his time and lay it all before me. And I saw until those shepherds pastured in their season. And they began to slay and to destroy more than they were bidden. And they delivered those sheep into the hand of the lions. And the lions and tigers ate and devoured the greater part of those sheep. And the wild boars ate along with them. And they burned that tower and demolished that house. And I became very sorrowful over that tower because that house of the sheep was demolished. And afterwards I was unable to see if those sheep entered that house. And the shepherds and their associates delivered over those sheep to all the wild beasts to devour them. And each one of them received in his time a definite number. It was written by the other in a book how many each one of them destroyed of them and each one slew and destroyed many more than was prescribed. 
and I began to weep and lament on account of those sheep. And thus in the vision I saw that one who wrote. How he wrote down every one that was destroyed by those shepherds, day by day and carried up and laid down and showed actually the whole book to the Lord of the sheep. Everything that they had done, and all that each one of them had made away with, and all that they had given over to destruction. And the book was read before the Lord of the sheep. And he took the book from his hand and read it and sealed it and laid it down. And I saw how the shepherds pastured for twelve hours. And behold three of those sheep turned back and came and entered and began to build up all that had fallen down of that house. But the wild boars tried to hinder them, but they were not able. And they began again to build as before, and they raised up that tower. And it was named the High Tower. And they began again to place a table before the tower. But all the bread on it was polluted and not pure. And as touching all this the eyes of those sheep were blinded so that they saw not. And the eyes of their shepherds likewise were blinded. And they delivered them in large numbers to their shepherds for destruction. And they trampled the sheep with their feet and devoured them. And the Lord of the sheep remained unmoved until all the sheep were dispersed over the field and mingled with the beasts. And the shepherds did not save them out of the hand of the beasts. And this one who wrote the book carried it up. And showed it and read it before the Lord of the sheep. And implored him on their account. And besought him on their account as he showed him all the doings of the shepherds. And gave testimony before him against all the shepherds. And he took the actual book and laid it down beside him and departed. Chapter 90 And I saw until that in this manner thirty-five shepherds undertook the pasturing of the sheep. And they completed their periods as did the first. And others received them into their hands to pasture them for their period, each shepherd in his own period. And after that I saw in my vision all the birds of heaven coming, the eagles, the vultures, the kites, the ravens. But the eagles led all the birds, and they began to devour those sheep, and to pick out their eyes and to devour their flesh. And the sheep cried out because their flesh was being devoured by the birds. And as for me I looked and lamented in my sleep over that shepherd who pastured the sheep. And I saw until those sheep were devoured by the dogs and eagles and kites. And they left neither flesh nor skin nor sinew remaining on them until only their bones stood there. And their bones too fell to the earth and the sheep became few. And I saw until that twenty-three had undertaken the pasturing and completed in their many periods fifty-eight times. But behold lambs were born by those white sheep. And they began to open their eyes and to see, and to cry to the sheep. They cried to them, but they did not hearken to what they said to them. But were very deaf, and their eyes were very blinded. And I saw in the vision how the ravens flew on those lambs and took one of those lambs. And dashed the sheep in pieces and devoured them. And I saw until horns grew on those lambs and the ravens cast down their horns. And I saw until there sprouted a great horn of one of those sheep. And their eyes were opened. And it looked at them and their eyes opened, and it cried to the sheep. And the rams saw it and all ran to it. And notwithstanding all this, those eagles and vultures and ravens and kites kept on tearing the sheep and swooping down on them and devouring them until the sheep remained silent. But the rams lamented and cried out. And those ravens fought and battled with it and sought to lay low its horn, but they had no power over it. All the eagles and vultures and ravens and kites were gathered together. And there came with them all the sheep of the field. They all came together and helped each other to break that horn of the ram. And I saw that man 
who wrote down the names of the shepherds and brought them up before the Lord of the sheep, came. And he helped that ram and showed it everything, its help was coming down. And I looked until that Lord of the sheep came to them angry. All those who saw him ran, and they all fell into the shadow in front of him. All the eagles and vultures and ravens and kites gathered together and brought with them all the wild sheep. And they all came together and helped one another in order to dash that horn of the ram in pieces. And I looked at that man, who wrote the book at the command of the Lord. Until he opened that book of the destruction that those last twelve shepherds had done. And he showed, in front of the Lord of the sheep, that they had destroyed even more than those before them had. And I looked and the Lord of the sheep came to them and took the staff of his anger and struck the earth. And the earth was split. And all the animals and the birds of the sky fell from those sheep and sank in the earth, and it closed over them. And I saw until a great sword was given to the sheep. And the sheep proceeded against all the beasts of the field to slay them. And all the beasts and the birds of the heaven fled before their face. And I saw that man, who wrote the book according to the command of the Lord. Until he opened that book concerning the destruction which those twelve last shepherds had wrought. And showed that they had destroyed much more than their predecessors. Before the Lord of the sheep. And I saw until the Lord of the sheep came to them and took in his hand the staff of his wrath. And smote the earth, and the earth clave asunder, and all the beasts and all the birds of heaven fell from among those sheep. And were swallowed up in the earth and it covered them. And I saw until a throne was erected in the pleasant land, and the Lord of the sheep sat himself on it. And the other took the sealed books and opened those books before the Lord of the sheep. And the Lord called those men, the seven first white ones, and commanded that they should bring before him. Beginning with the first star which led the way, all the stars whose private members were like those of horses. And they brought them all before him. And he said to that man who wrote before him, being one of those seven white ones, and said to him, Take those seventy shepherds to whom I delivered the sheep, and who taking them on their own authority slew more than I commanded them. And behold they were all bound, I saw, and they all stood before him. And the judgment was held first over the stars, and they were judged and found guilty, and went to the place of condemnation, and they were cast into an abyss, full of fire and flaming, and full of pillars of fire. And those seventy shepherds were judged and found guilty, and they were cast into that fiery abyss. And I saw at that time how like abyss was opened in the midst of the earth, full of fire, and they brought those blinded sheep, and they were all judged and found guilty and cast into this fiery abyss, and they burned. Now this abyss was to the right of that house. And I saw those sheep burning and their bones burning. And I stood up to see until they folded up that old house. And carried off all the pillars, and all the beams and ornaments of the house were at the same time folded up with it. And they carried it off and laid it in a place in the south of the land. And I saw until the Lord of the sheep brought a new house greater and loftier than that first. And set it up in the place of the first which had been folded up. All its pillars were new, and its ornaments were new and larger than those of the first. The old one which he had taken away, and all the sheep were within it. HEB 1314 For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And I saw all the sheep which had been left, and all the beasts on the earth, and all the birds of heaven, falling down and doing homage to those sheep and making petition to and obeying them in everything. And thereafter those three who were clothed in white and had seized me by my hand, and the hand of that ram also seizing hold of me. 
They took me up and set me down in the midst of those sheep before the judgment took place. And those sheep were all white, and their wool was abundant and clean. And all that had been destroyed and dispersed, and all the beasts of the field, and all the birds of heaven, assembled in that house. And the Lord of the sheep rejoiced with great joy because they were all good and had returned to his house. And I saw until they laid down that sword, which had been given to the sheep. And they brought it back into the house. And it was sealed before the presence of the Lord. And all the sheep were invited into that house, but it held them not. And the eyes of them all were opened, and they saw the good. And there was not one among them that did not see. And I saw that the house was large and broad and very full. And I saw that a white bull was born. With large horns and all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air feared him and made petition to him all the time. And I saw until all their generations were transformed. And they all became white bulls. And the first among them became a lamb, and that lamb became a great animal and had great black horns on its head. And the Lord of the sheep rejoiced over it and over all the oxen. And I slept in their midst, and I awoke and saw everything. Forty this is the vision which I saw while I slept. And I awoke and blessed the Lord of righteousness and gave him glory. Then I wept greatly and my tears ceased not until I could no longer endure it. When I saw, they flowed on account of what I had seen. For everything shall come and be fulfilled. And all the deeds of men in their order were shown to me. On that night I remembered the first dream. And because of it I wept and was troubled because I had seen that vision. Chapter 91 and now, my son Methuselah, call to me all your brothers and gather together to me all the sons of your mother. For the word calls me, and the spirit is poured out on me, that I may show you everything that shall befall you forever. And thereon Methuselah went and summoned to him all his brothers and assembled his relatives. And he spoke to all the children of righteousness and said, Hear, you sons of Enoch, all the words of your father, and hearken, as you should, to the voice of my mouth. For I exhort you and say to you, Beloved, love righteousness and walk in it, and draw near to righteousness without a double heart, and do not associate with those of a double heart. But walk in righteousness, my sons, and it shall guide you on good paths and righteousness shall be your companion. Jam 1 colon 6 But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. For I know that violence must increase on the earth and a great punishment will be executed on the earth. It shall be cut off from its roots, and its whole construct will be destroyed. And unrighteousness shall again be complete on the earth. And all the deeds of unrighteousness and of violence and sin shall prevail a second time. And when sin and unrighteousness and blasphemy and violence and all kinds of deeds increase, and apostasy and transgression and uncleanness increase. A great chastisement shall come from heaven on all these. And the Holy Lord will come out with wrath and chastisement to execute judgment on earth. 2 teach 2 colon 3 Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. Except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. In those days violence shall be cut off from its roots, and the roots of unrighteousness together with deceit. And they shall be destroyed from under heaven. And all the idols of the heathen shall be abandoned. And the temples burned with fire, 
and they shall remove them from the whole earth. And the heathen shall be cast into the judgment of fire, and shall perish in wrath and in grievous judgment for ever. And the righteous shall arise from their sleep, and wisdom shall arise and be given to them. And after that the roots of unrighteousness and those who plan violence and those who commit blasphemy shall be cut off. And the sinners shall be destroyed by the sword. And after this there will be another week. The eighth, that of righteousness, and a sword will be given to it so that the righteous judgment may be executed on those who do wrong. And the sinners will be handed over into the hands of the righteous. And, at its end, they will acquire houses because of their righteousness. And a house will be built for the great king in glory, forever. And after this, in the ninth week, the righteous judgment will be revealed to the whole world. And all the deeds of the impious will vanish from the whole earth. And the world will be written down for destruction and all men will look to the path of uprightness. And, after this, in the tenth week, in the seventh part, there will be an eternal judgment that will be executed on the watchers and the great eternal heaven that will spring from the midst of the angels. And the first heaven will vanish and pass away and a new heaven will appear. And all the powers of heaven will shine forever, with light seven times as bright. And after this, there will be many weeks without number, forever, in goodness and in righteousness. And from then on sin will never again be mentioned. And now I tell you, my sons, and show you, the paths of righteousness and the paths of violence. I will show them to you again that you may know what will come to pass. And now, hearken to me, my sons, and walk in the paths of righteousness, and walk not in the paths of violence. For all who walk in the paths of unrighteousness shall perish forever. Chapter 92 Enoch indeed wrote this complete doctrine of wisdom, praised of all men and a judge of all the earth. The book written by Enoch for all my children who shall live on the earth. And for the future generations who shall observe righteousness and peace. Let not your spirit be troubled on account of the times. For the Holy and Great One has appointed days for all things. And the Righteous One shall arise from sleep. Shall arise and walk in the paths of righteousness. And all his path and conversation shall be in eternal goodness and grace. He will be gracious to the righteous and give him eternal righteousness. And he will give him power so that he shall be endowed with goodness and righteousness. And he shall walk in eternal light. And sin shall perish in darkness forever and shall no more be seen from that day forevermore. Chapter 93 And after that Enoch both gave and began to recount from the books. And Enoch said, Concerning the children of righteousness and concerning the elect of the world, and concerning the plant of righteousness, I will speak these things. I Enoch will declare them, to you, my sons, according to that which appeared to me in heavenly vision, and which I have known through the word of the holy angels, and have learned from heavenly tablets. And Enoch began to recount from the books and said, I was born the seventh in the first week, able judgment and righteousness still endured. And after me there shall arise in the second week great wickedness and deceit shall have sprung up, and in it there shall be the first end. And in it a man shall be saved, and after it is ended unrighteousness shall grow up. And a law shall be made for the sinners. And after that in the third week at its close a man shall be elected as the plant of righteous judgment. And his posterity shall become the plant of righteousness forevermore. And after that in the fourth week, at its close, visions of the holy and righteous shall be seen, 
and a law for all generations, and an enclosure shall be made for them. And after that in the fifth week, at its close, the house of glory and dominion shall be built forever. And after that in the sixth week, all who live in it shall be blinded, and the hearts of all of them shall godlessly forsake wisdom. And in it a man shall ascend, and at its close the house of dominion shall be burned with fire, and the whole race of the chosen root shall be dispersed. And after that in the seventh week shall an apostate generation arise, and many shall be its deeds, and all its deeds shall be apostate, and at its end shall be elected. The elect righteous of the eternal plant of righteousness shall be chosen to receive sevenfold instruction concerning all his creation. For who is there of all the children of men that is able to hear the voice of the Holy One without being troubled? And who can think his thoughts? Who is there that can behold all the works of heaven? And how should there be one who could behold heaven? And who is there that could understand the things of heaven and see a soul or a spirit and could tell of it? Or ascend and see all their ends and think them or do like them? And who is there of all men that could know what is the breadth and the length of the earth? And to whom has the measurement been shown of all of them? Or is there anyone who could discern the length of the heaven and how great is its height? And on what it is founded? and how great is the number of the stars, and where all the luminaries rest. Chapter 94 And now I say to you, my sons, love righteousness and walk in it. Because the paths of righteousness are worthy of acceptation, but the paths of unrighteousness shall suddenly be destroyed and vanish. And to certain men of a generation shall the paths of violence and of death be revealed and they shall hold themselves afar from them, and shall not follow them. And now I say to you, the righteous, walk not in the paths of wickedness, nor in the paths of death, and draw not near to them, lest you be destroyed. But seek and choose for yourselves righteousness and an elect life, and walk in the paths of peace, and you shall live and prosper and hold my words in the thoughts of your hearts, and permit them not to be erased from your hearts. For I know that sinners will tempt men to evilly entreat wisdom, so that no place may be found for her, and temptation will increase. Woe to those who build unrighteousness and oppression and lay deceit as a foundation, for they shall be suddenly overthrown, and they shall have no peace. Woe to those who build their houses with sin. For from all their foundations shall they be overthrown, and by the sword shall they fall. And those who acquire gold and silver shall suddenly perish in the judgment. Woe to you, you rich, for you have trusted in your riches. And from your riches shall you depart. Because you have not remembered the Most High in the days of your riches. You have committed blasphemy and unrighteousness, and have become ready for the day of slaughter, and the day of darkness, and the day of the great judgment. Thus I speak and tell you, he who hath created you will overthrow you, and for your fall there shall be no compassion, and your Creator will rejoice at your destruction and your righteousness shall be a reproach to the sinners and the godless in those days. Jam 5 colon 1 go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud, creeth. And the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. 
Ye have lived in pleasure on the earth, and been wanton. Ye have nourished your hearts, as in a day of slaughter. Ye have condemned and killed the just. And he doth not resist you. Chapter 95 Would that my eyes were rain clouds of water that I might weep over you, and pour down my tears as a cloud of water, that I might rest from my trouble of heart. Who has permitted you to practice reproaches and wickedness? And so judgment shall overtake you, sinners. You righteous. Fear not the sinners. For again the Lord will deliver them into your hands. That you may execute judgment on them according to your desires. Woe to you who speak against God which cannot be removed. Healing shall be far from you because of your sins. Woe to you who repay your neighbor with evil. For you shall be repaid according to your works. Woe to you, lying witnesses, and to those who weigh out injustice. For you shall suddenly perish. Woe to you, sinners, for you persecute the righteous. For you shall be delivered up and persecuted because of injustice. And your yoke shall be heavy on you. Chapter 96 Be hopeful, you righteous. For suddenly shall the sinners perish before you. And you shall have lordship over them, according to your desires. And in the day of the tribulation of the sinners, your children shall mount and rise as eagles. And your nests shall be higher than the vultures. You shall ascend as badgers and enter the crevices of the earth. And the clefts of the rock forever before the unrighteous. And the satyrs shall sigh and weep because of you. Wherefore fear not, you that have suffered. For healing shall be your portion, and a bright light shall enlighten you. And the voice of rest you shall hear from heaven. Woe to you, you sinners, for your riches make you appear like the righteous. But your hearts convict you of being sinners. And this fact shall be a testimony against you for a memorial of your evil deeds. Woe to you who devour the finest of the wheat, and drink wine in large bowls. And tread underfoot the lowly with your might. Woe to you who drink water from every fountain. For suddenly shall you be consumed and wither away. Because you have forsaken the fountain of life. Woe to you who work unrighteousness and deceit and blasphemy. It shall be a memorial against you for evil. Woe to you, you mighty, who with might oppress the righteous. For the day of your destruction is coming. Many and good days shall come to the righteous in those days in the day of your judgment. Chapter 97 Believe, you righteous that the sinners will become a shame and perish in the day of unrighteousness. Be it known to you, you sinners, that the Most High is mindful of your destruction, and the angels of heaven rejoice over your destruction. What will you do, you sinners, and where shall you flee on that day of judgment? When you hear the voice of the prayer of the righteous, you shall fare like to them, against whom these words shall be a testimony. You have been companions of sinners. And in those days the prayer of the righteous shall reach to the Lord. And for you the days of your judgment shall come. And all the words of your unrighteousness shall be read out before the great Holy One. And your faces shall be covered with shame. And he will reject every work which is grounded on unrighteousness. Woe to you, you sinners, who live on the middle of the ocean and on the dry land, whose remembrance is evil against you. Woe to you who acquire silver and gold in unrighteousness and say, We have become rich with riches and have possessions, and have acquired everything we have desired, and now let us do what we purposed. For we have gathered silver, 
and many are the servants in our houses and our granaries are full to the brim as if with water. Yeah, and like water your lies shall flow away. For your riches shall not abide but quickly depart from you. For you have acquired it all in unrighteousness. And you shall be given over to a great curse. Chapter 98 And now I swear to you, to the wise and to the foolish, that you shall see many experiences on the earth. For you men shall put on more adornments than a woman, and colored garments more than a young woman. Like royalty and in grandeur and in power, and in silver and in gold and in purple. And in splendor and in food they shall be poured out as water. Therefore they shall have neither knowledge nor wisdom, and because of this they shall die together with their possessions. And with all their glory and their splendor, and in shame and in slaughter and in great destitution. Their spirits shall be thrown into the furnace of fire. I have sworn to you, you sinners, as a mountain has not become a slave. And a hill does not become the servant of a woman. Even so sin has not been sent on the earth. But man of himself has created it. And they that commit it shall fall under a great curse. And barrenness has not been given to the woman. But on account of the deeds of her own hands she dies without children. I have sworn to you, you sinners, by the Holy Great One, that all your evil deeds are revealed in heaven, and that none of your wrong deeds are covered and hidden. And do not think in your spirit nor say in your heart that you do not know and that you do not see that every sin is recorded every day in heaven in the presence of the Most High. From now on, you know that all your wrongdoing that you do will be written down every day until the day of your judgment. Woe to you, you fools, for through your folly you shall perish. And you do not listen to the wise, so no good will come to you against the wise. And so and now, know you that you are prepared for the day of destruction. Therefore do not hope to live, you sinners, but you shall depart and die. For there will be no ransom for you because you are prepared for the day of the great judgment, for the day of tribulation and great shame for your spirits. Woe to you, you obstinate of heart, who work wickedness and eat blood. Where do you have good things to eat and to drink and to be filled? From all the good things which the Lord the Most High has placed in abundance on the earth. Therefore you shall have no peace. Gen 9 colon 3 Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb have I given you all things. For but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. 5 And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man. At the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. 6 Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. Woe to you who love the deeds of unrighteousness. Wherefore do you hope for good for yourselves? You know that you shall be delivered into the hands of the righteous. And they shall cut off your necks and slay you, and have no mercy on you. Woe to you who rejoice in the distress of the righteous. For no grave shall be dug for you. Woe to you who say the words of the wise are empty. For you shall have no hope of life. Woe to you who write down lying and godless words. For they write down their lies so that men may hear them and act godlessly towards their neighbor. Therefore they shall have no peace but die a sudden death. Chapter 99 Woe to you who do godless acts, and praise and honor lies. You shall perish, and no happy life shall be yours. Woe to them who pervert the words of righteousness, and transgress the eternal law, and count themselves as sinless. 
they shall be trodden under foot on the earth. In those days make ready, you righteous, to raise your prayers as a memorial, and place them as a testimony before the angels, that they may place the sin of the sinners for a reminder before the Most High. In those days the nations shall be stirred up, and the families of the nations shall arise on the day of destruction. And in those days the destitute shall go and throw their children out. And they shall abandon them, so that their children shall perish because of them. They shall abandon their children that are still babies, and not return to them, and shall have no pity on their loved ones. Again, I swear to you, you sinners, that sin is prepared for a day of unceasing bloodshed. Matt 24 colon 6 And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And they who worship stones, and carved images of gold and silver and wood and stone and clay. And those who worship impure spirits and demons. And all kinds of idols not according to knowledge. Shall get no manner of help from them. And they shall become godless by reason of the folly of their hearts. And their eyes shall be blinded through the fear of their hearts and through visions and their ambitions. Through these they shall become godless and fearful. For they shall have done all their work with lies. And shall have worshipped a stone, therefore in an instant shall they perish. But in those days blessed are all they who accept the words of wisdom. And understand them, and observe the paths of the Most High. And walk in the path of His righteousness, and become not godless with the godless for they shall be saved. Woe to you who spread evil to your neighbors, for you shall be slain in hell. Woe to you who make your foundation that of deceitful and lies, and who cause bitterness on the earth, for they shall thereby be utterly consumed. Woe to you who build your houses through the hard labor of others, and all their building materials are the bricks and stones of sin. I tell you, you shall have no peace. Woe to them who reject the measure and eternal inheritance of their fathers and whose souls follow after idols, for they shall have no rest. Woe to them who do unrighteous acts and help oppression, and kill their neighbors until the day of the great judgment. For he will throw down your glory. For he shall throw down your glory and bring affliction on your hearts, and shall arouse his fierce anger, and destroy you all with the sword. And all the holy and righteous shall remember your sins. Chapter 100 And in those days in one place the fathers together with their sons shall kill one another and brothers shall fall in death together until the streams flow with their blood. For a man shall not withhold his hand from killing his sons and his sons' sons. And the sinner shall not withhold his hand from his honored brother. From dawn until sunset they shall kill one another. Mar 13 12 Now the brother shall betray the brother to death. And the father the son, and children shall rise up against their parents. And shall cause them to be put to death and the horse shall walk up to the breast in the blood of sinners, and the chariot shall be submerged to its height. Rev 14.20 And the winepress was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the winepress, even unto the horse bridles, by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. In those days the angels shall descend into the secret places and gather together into one place all those who brought down sin and the Most High will arise on that day of judgment to execute great judgment among sinners. 
and over all the righteous and holy he will appoint guardians from among the holy angels to guard them as the apple of an eye, until he makes an end of all wickedness and all sin. And even if the righteous sleep a long sleep, they have nothing to fear. And the wise men will seek the truth and they and their sons will understand the words of this book and recognize that their riches shall not be able to save them or overcome their sins. Woe to you sinners, on the day of strong anguish, you who afflict the righteous and burn them with fire. You shall be requited according to your works. Woe to you, you obstinate of heart, who watch in order to devise wickedness. Therefore shall fear come on you, and there shall be none to help you. Woe to you, you sinners, on account of the words of your mouth, and on account of the deeds of your hands which your godlessness has caused. In blazing flames burning worse than fire shall you burn. 2 Teach 1 colon 7 And to you who are troubled rest with us, when the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. And now, know that the angels will ask him in heaven about your deeds and from the sun and from the moon and from the stars they will ask about your sins because on the earth you execute judgment on the righteous and he will summon to testify against you every cloud and mist and dew and rain. For they shall all be withheld from falling on you, and they shall be mindful of your sins. And now give gifts to the rain that it cease not from falling on you, nor the dew, when it has received gold and silver from you that it may fall. When the hoarfrost and snow with their chilliness, and all the snowstorms with all their plagues fall on you, in those days you shall not be able to stand before them. Chapter 101 Observe heaven, you children of heaven, and every work of the Most High, and fear him and work no evil in his presence. If he closes the windows of heaven, and withholds the rain and the dew from falling on the earth on your account, what will you do then? And if he sends his anger on you because of your deeds, you cannot petition him. For you spoke proud and arrogant words against his righteousness, therefore you shall have no peace. Don't you see the sailors of the ships, how their ships are tossed back and forth by the waves, and are shaken by the winds, and are in great trouble? And therefore they are afraid because all their nice possessions go on the sea with them, and they have bad feelings in their heart that the sea will swallow them and they will perish therein. Are not the entire sea and all its waters, and all its movements, the work of the Most High? And has he not set limits to its actions, and confined it throughout by the sand? And at his reproof it fears and dries up, and all its fish die and all that is in it but you sinners that are on the earth fear him not. Has he not made heaven and the earth, and all that is in it? Who has given understanding and wisdom to everything that moves on the earth and in the sea? Do not the sailors of the ships fear the sea? Yet you sinners do not fear the Most High. Chapter 102 In those days if he sent a horrible fire on you, where will you flee, and where will you find deliverance? And when he launches out his word against you will you not be shaken and afraid? And all the luminaries shall be shaken with great fear, and all the earth shall be afraid and tremble and be alarmed. And all the angels shall execute their commands and shall seek to hide themselves from the presence of he who is great in glory. And the children of earth shall tremble and shake and you sinners shall be cursed forever, and you shall have no peace. Fear you not, you souls of the righteous, and fear not you who have died in righteousness. 
and don't grieve if your soul has descended into the grave in grief, and that in your life you were not rewarded according to your goodness. But wait for the day of the judgment of sinners and for the day of cursing and chastisement. And when you die the sinners will say about you, as we die, so die the righteous, and what benefit do they reap for their deeds? See, even as we, so do they die in grief and darkness, and what have they more than we? From now on we are equal. And what will they receive and what will they see forever? Look, they too have died, and from now on forever shall they see no light. I tell you, you sinners, you are content to eat and drink, and rob and sin, and strip men naked, and acquire wealth and see good days. Have you seen the righteous how their end was peace, that no violence is found in them until their death? Nevertheless they died and became as though they had not been. And their spirits descended into hell in tribulation. Chapter 103 now, therefore, I swear to the righteous, by the glory of the great and honored and mighty one who reigns, I swear to you, I know this mystery. I have read the heavenly tablets, and have seen the holy books, and have found written in it and inscribed regarding them, that all goodness and joy and glory are prepared for them, and written down for the spirits of those who have died in righteousness and that much good shall be given to you in reward for your labors, and that your lot is abundant beyond the lot of the living, and the spirits of you who have died in righteousness shall live and rejoice, and your spirits shall not perish, nor shall your memory from before the face of the Great One to all the generations of the world. Therefore no longer fear their abuse, Woe to you, you sinners, when you have died. If you die in the abundance of your sins, and woe to those who are like you and say regarding you. Blessed are the sinners, they have seen all their days. And how they have died in prosperity and in wealth, and have not seen tribulation or murder in their life. And they have died in honor, and judgment has not been executed on them during their life. You know that their souls will be made to descend into hell and they shall be wrapped in great tribulation and into darkness and chains and a burning flame where there is harsh judgment your spirits shall enter and the great judgment shall be for all the generations of the world. Woe to you, for you shall have no peace. The righteous and good who are alive do not say. In our troubled days we have worked hard and experienced every trouble, and met with much evil and been afflicted, and have become few and our spirit small, and we have been destroyed and have not found any to help us even with a word. We have been tortured and destroyed, and not expect to live from day to day. We hope to be the head and have become the tail. We have worked hard and had no satisfaction in our labor. And we have become the food of the sinners and the unrighteous. And they have laid their yoke heavily on us. They have ruled over us and hated us and hid us. And to those that hated us we have bowed our necks but they pitied us not. We desire to get away from them that we might escape and be at rest but found no place where we should flee and be safe from them. We complained to the rulers in our tribulation, and cried out against those who devoured us. But they did not pay attention to our cries and would not listen to our voice. And they helped those who robbed us and devoured us and those who made us few. And they concealed their oppression. And they did not remove from us the yoke of those that devoured us and dispersed us and murdered us. And they concealed their murder. And did not remember that they had lifted up their hands against us. Chapter 104 I swear to you, 
that in heaven the angels remember you for good before the glory of the Great One. And your names are written before the glory of the Great One. Be hopeful, for before you were put to shame through sickness and affliction. But now you shall shine as the lights of heaven. You shall shine and you shall be seen. And the doors of heaven shall be opened to you. And in your cry, cry for judgment. And it shall appear to you. For all your tribulation shall be visited on the rulers. And on all who helped those who plundered you. Be hopeful, and do not throw away your hopes for you shall have great joy as the angels of heaven. What will you have to do? You shall not have to hide on the day of the great judgment and you shall not be found as sinners. And the eternal judgment shall not come to you for all the generations, eternally. And now fear not, you righteous, when you see the sinners growing strong and prospering in their ways. Do not be their companions, but keep away from their violence. For you shall become companions of the hosts of heaven. And, although you sinners say, All our sins shall not be found out and be written down, nevertheless they shall write down all your sins every day. And now I show to you that light and darkness, day and night, see all your sins. Do not be godless in your hearts, and do not lie and do not change the words of righteousness. Nor say that the words of the Holy Great One are lies. Nor praise or rely on your idols. For all your lying and all your godlessness come not from righteousness but from great sin. And now I know this mystery, that sinners will alter and pervert the words of righteousness in many ways. And will speak wicked words, and lie, and practice great deceits. And write books concerning their words. But when they write down all my words truthfully in their languages, and do not change or omit any of my words but write them all down truthfully, all that I first testified concerning them, then I know another mystery. That books will be given to the righteous and the wise to produce joy and righteousness and much wisdom. And to them the books shall be given, and they shall believe them and rejoice over them. And then all the righteous who have learned from them all the paths of righteousness shall be paid back. Chapter 105 In those days the Lord called them to testify to the children of earth concerning their wisdom, show it to them. For you are their guides, and a recompense over the whole earth. For I and my Son will be united with them forever in the paths of righteousness in their lives, and you shall have peace. Rejoice, you children of righteousness. Amen. Chapter 106 Fragment of the Book of Noah And after some days my son Methuselah took a wife for his son, Lamech, and she became pregnant by him and bore a son. And his body was white as snow and red as the blooming of a rose. And the hair of his head and his long curls were white as wool, and his eyes beautiful. And when he opened his eyes, he lit up the whole house like the sun, and the whole house was very bright. And on it he levitated in the hands of the midwife, opened his mouth, and conversed with the Lord of Righteousness. And his father, Lamech, was afraid of him and fled, and came to his father Methuselah. And he said to him, I have begotten a strange son, different and unlike man, and resembling the sons of the God of heaven. And his nature is different and he is not like us, and his eyes are as the rays of the sun, and his face is glorious. And it seems to me that he did not spring from me but from the angels. And I fear that in his days a wonder may be performed on the earth. And now, my father, I am here to ask you and beg you that you may go to Enoch, our father, and learn from him the truth, for his dwelling place is among the angels. And when Methuselah heard the words of his son, 
he came to me to the ends of the earth, for he had heard that I was there. And he cried aloud, and I heard his voice and I came to him. And I said to him, Behold, here am I, my son, why have you come to me? And he answered and said, Because of a great cause of anxiety have I come to you. And because of a disturbing vision have I approached. And now, my father, hear me. To Lamech, my son, there has been born a son, the like of whom there is none other. And his nature is not like man's nature, and the color of his body is whiter than snow and redder than the bloom of a rose. And the hair of his head is whiter than white wool. And his eyes are like the rays of the sun. And he opened his eyes and the whole house lit up. And he levitated in the hands of the midwife, and opened his mouth and blessed the Lord of heaven. And his father Lamech became afraid and fled to me, and did not believe that he was sprung from him, but that he was in the likeness of the angels of heaven. And now I have come to you that you may make known to me the truth. And I, Enoch, answered and said to him, The Lord will do a new thing on the earth. And this I have already seen in a vision. And make known to you that in the generation of my father Jared some of the angels of heaven violated the word of the Lord. And they commit sin and broke the law, and have had sex with women and committed sin with them. And have married some of them, and have had children by them. And they shall produce on the earth giants not according to the spirit, but according to the flesh, and there shall be a great punishment on the earth. And the earth shall be cleansed from all impurity. There shall come a great destruction over the whole earth. And there shall be a flood and a great destruction for one year. And this son who has been born to you shall be left on the earth. And his three children shall be saved with him. When all mankind that are on the earth shall die. He and his sons shall be saved. And now make known to your son, Lamech. That he who has been born is in truth his son, and call his name Noah. For he shall be left to you and he and his sons shall be saved from the destruction, which shall come on the earth on account of all the sin and all the unrighteousness, which shall be full on the earth in his days. And after that there shall be more unrighteousness than that which was done before on the earth. For I know the mysteries of the holy ones. For he, the Lord, has showed me and informed me and I have read in heavenly tablets. Chapter 107 And I saw written about them that generation after generation shall transgress, until a generation of righteousness arises, and transgression is destroyed and sin passes away from the earth, and all manner of good comes on it. And now, my son, go and make known to your son Lamech that this son which has been born, is in truth his son, and this is no lie. And when Methuselah had heard the words of his father Enoch, for he had shown to him everything in secret, he returned and showed those things to him and called the name of that son Noah, for he will comfort the earth after all the destruction. Chapter 108 Another book which Enoch wrote for his son Methuselah and for those who will come after him and keep the law in the last days. You who have done good shall wait for those days until an end is made of those who work evil and an end of the power of the wrongdoers and wait until sin has passed away indeed for their names shall be blotted out of the book of life and out of the holy books and their seed shall be destroyed forever, and their spirits shall be killed, and they shall cry and lament in a place that is a chaotic desert, and they shall be burned in the fire, for there is no earth there. I saw something there like an invisible cloud, 
because it was so deep I could not look over it. And I saw a flame of fire blazing brightly. And things like shining mountains circling and sweeping back and forth. And I asked one of the holy angels who was with me and said to him, What is this bright thing, shining? For it is not heaven, but there was only the flame of a blazing fire. And the voice of weeping and crying and moaning, lamenting, and agony. And he said to me, This place which you see are where the spirits of sinners and blasphemers, and of those who work wickedness, are cast and the spirits of those who pervert everything that the Lord hath spoken through the mouth of the prophets and even the prophecies. For some of them are written and inscribed above in heaven, in order that the angels may read them and know that which shall befall the sinners and the spirits of the humble, and of those who have afflicted their bodies, and been recompensed by God, and of those who have been abused by wicked men, who love God and loved neither gold nor silver nor any of the good things which are in the world, but gave over their bodies to torture who, since they were born, longed not after earthly food, but regarded everything as a passing breath, and lived accordingly. And the Lord tried them much. And their spirits were found pure so that they should bless his name. And all the blessings destined for them I have recounted in the books. And he has assigned them their reward because they have been found to love heaven more than their life in the world. And though they were trodden underfoot by wicked men, and experienced abuse and reviling from them and were put to shame, they blessed me. And now I will summon the spirits of the good who belong to the generation of light. And I will transform those who were born in darkness who in the flesh were not rewarded with such honor as their faithfulness deserved. And I will bring out in shining light those who have loved my holy name, and I will seek each on the throne of his honor. Matt 19.28 And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And they shall shine for time without end. For righteousness is the judgment of God. Because to the faithful he will give faithfulness in the habitation of upright paths. And they shall see those who were born in darkness led into darkness. While the righteous shall shine. And the sinners shall cry aloud and see them shining. And they indeed will go where days and seasons are written down for them.